The fact that like podcast clips are so boring now that like, you have to have a fucking subway surfer thing at the bottom, just otherwise I can't watch it. When did that become like a meta for like TikToks? Oh. And I did a video and someone re-uploaded the entire thing to TikTok, but they put Rocket League highlights below it and it got 20 million views. Welcome to another episode of Trash Taste. I'm Connor. Once again, I'm joined by the boys, Joey and Garn. And today we have a very special guest, Laserbeam. G'day, how's it going? Do you like being referred to as laser beam? Uh, that or Lannan, either Lannan. is fine, right. however right. you want to do it. Um, I had a substitute teacher called me Langlin as a kid. <laughs> Langlin? Uh, don't know where she got the G from. Um, <laughs> a bit worrying if your substitute teacher can't read. But, um, I feel like I'm pretty sure Langlin's not even a real name either. So it's like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I some back. people would say Lannan's not a real name. You know, I've, I've never met someone with that as a first name. That's it's, true. It's yeah. okay. A lot of people think Gaunt is a real name, which it probably isn't, but you know, it's not real. <laughs> it, is, not. it is if you believe it is. <laughs> yeah, in my, my entire life has just been a mispronunciation of my name. But I, I, I remember at one point I was like the only guy on Facebook, mm. like as a first name, because uh, so what a flex! <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's a, that's a flex. flex. That's a fl that's how I know the name's rare. <laughs> Unless you type it out into like Lannans on Facebook. Uh, no, so it's like a weirdly enough, it's like a last name that some people uh, have, like okay. spelt the exact way. A lot of people have Lennon, but oh, Lennon. which is like L E N N O N or whatever. Oh, okay. But my, I was named after the Beatle. Um, but but spelt differently. Yeah. <laughs> my dad's like specifically. I want my son to have a hard time at school. He's like, <laughs> one look at me like fuck this kid. Like, you know he wanted the ba he wanted the girl, uh, and he was like ah oh, fuck another boy. So he's like <laughs> my favorite shit. Beatle, John Lennon. <laughs> <laughs> he's also like one of the most questionable of the Beatles. You know, he's, like, he's got he had issues. Could have been Ringo. Could have been. Could have been Ringo. Yeah. Could have been Ringo. So, to anyone who doesn't know you who's watching this, do you want to just maybe just give a brief little uh, explanation? Oh of what God, you've done, that's. Your background? Um, yeah. How do you summarize yourself? Uh, I played a lot of Fortnite. Mm -hmm. uh, I make YouTube videos. Some people like them. Some people don't. Get a lot of hate comments. Well, that's because <laughs> you also get a ridiculous amount of views on your videos. So it's. Sometimes, natural. sometimes, but I um, think with your yeah, sub no. count and views, it's yeah, kind of inevitable. Like, yeah, 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 only five million views. I fell off. Huh? <sighs> I do say that. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! I do say that. Oh my Bro, god. I wish, man. Yeah. I wish. Hey, yeah, you know, one day, one day, maybe. <laughs> Peak Fortnite was a different breed. Um, yeah, no, I've been doing it eight years, eight and a half years. Uh, started smashing things with machines. That was my first channel. Wait, what? And then, uh, that, we, we, that's a long story. We got time, we got time. Wait, 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 wait. Um, How did we go from Fortnite to yes? Well, I, start, yeah, I, st well, I, was, a, I was a construction worker, so. Right. Oh shit, wow. I was just bored and I didn't want to do, I didn't want to be a concreter forever. So I'm like, fuck it, I'll make videos. Cause I watch a lot of machinima. You know, oh, I watch, watch a lot of gaming content back in my at this point? Oh, when I, when I, I was 19, I think. Yeah. Yeah, 19, um, sort of just realized, didn't want to do construction forever. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, well, there's enough gamers out there. There's enough people <laughs> doing that shit. So <laughs> I'll do something different. So I just was trying to think, what do I have that other people wouldn't have? Mm. Right. And <laughs> Access to luckily I know how to drive an excavator. I know how to drive a Bobcat. So after work, I just like set up a microwave, like swing it around like I'm playing T-ball with an excavator. <laughs> I was like a budget slow mo, guys. Like, I, 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 I bought there a slow mo. Was no slow -mo. <laughs> well, no, I bought a slow mo camera, oh. but it was like a really shit one. So I was like, and this was like, yeah, like oh. almost 10 years ago, nine years ago, or whatever. Yeah. So I was like, yeah. it's like this baby fucking, can do 120 like frames. It was like 360p and shit. It was really bad. It's kind of funny. Um, after six months of doing that, I had 60 subs, and then all my camera gear got stolen. Oh, uh, oh shit. I was in a regional country town, lots of crime. Um, and that's where I was like, fuck it, might as well do gaming. All I had left was my laptop. <laughs> so that came full circle. You're like, fuck those gamers. Well, I was, like, it was just more like, I have no choice now. I, do, I can't replace this yeah. like five grand a camera gear. That was my life saving. Oh, oh, oh my like, God. It's all gone. Like, how maybe did, how did you lose it? Well, they just stole it. What did you like? They broke in and- uh... Yeah, it's still unsolved mystery. So if anyone knows, anyone has any tip offs. <laughs> I like it. how you sound, you sounded so like, you're like, they, just, they can just take things. No, no. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean I'm just like. I mean, I'm just like. They, how did it? Like, that's a lot of equipment. You can't just like. It's it's not like you can just pickpocket that. You know. Uh well, yeah. It was just overnight. They just break in, take it. Um, it was wasn't the nicest area that I was operating in. Right. But um, look, cops just don't really give a shit. They're like, that's five grand stuff. Like, hopefully your insurance will cover it in two mm. years. Wait, did they did they take anything else aside from the camera? Um, I can't remember what they. It was just like a lot of camera gear. That's Damn. all it really was. 
Bro, this was a uh, fucking hit job, I man. Think was, I think it was quite literally like it was in a box, like sitting like right there. Yeah. So as They're soon like- as they, as soon as they get in, it's like right there. So like, fuck it, easy. Um, they're just looking for easy targets. But um, yeah, Makes enough. Sense. I had no choice to do gaming at that point. So I was like, <laughs> yeah, it worked you out. You but- like what? If if all of my gear got stolen, I don't think I'd want to make videos anymore. Oh, I <laughs> cried. I would be honest. I was a grown I man. I was crying. Too, yeah. Yeah. I was like a buff tradie at that point. But I was tears in my eyes. And, and I thought then, my dream was dead. I was like, "That's this was all my savings was on this. Like, yeah. was, was this, this my dream? Was YouTube your full time job back then? Or no, not at this ju- point. Not at this point. You hit you sixty know. subs. Yeah, oh, 60, sixty subs. <laughs> hey, sorry, I, I also mumbled. Bro, bro, you must. Oh my, you had sixty subs. Yeah, so, five k. Well, that was like my savings. I was like, right. I was still living with my parents, so I was like, didn't have any costs. So I was either like. <laughs> getting on the piss doing drugs or buy camera gear you know so yeah i yeah. was like well i don't want to be a drop kick so i'll do i'll chase my <laughs> dreams instead of doing all my friends were doing was it, was it easy to kind of pick up gaming and and making videos about that or was it a well, i always of- loved gaming like i was a massive nerd um well, yeah, you said machi- machinima yeah so, yeah, yeah, so yeah, i was yeah. already all, but i just didn't think it was realistic because it was you know even people to this day say if, oh it's too saturated you can't do it I mean, yeah. if, you, if you think it's realistic odds are you're probably way too overconfident yeah, yeah massively yeah, yeah. but um i started out doing like american sports like madden okay, so okay i had okay. like a <laughs> I was like the Australian kid that loved American sports. So that was another <laughs> way to be different. I used to share yeah. it on Reddit, put my first videos on Reddit. Um, like Aussie reviews, but play Well, I kind of just did really dumb shit. Like everyone was te- playing the game super seriously. They're like competitive. They do these series or whatever. I was like, yeah. okay, take the fattest dude in the game. Can you score a touchdown? <laughs> that was it. And I'd sit there for 12 hours trying to score until like the game glitched in some way so he could score. And then I'd put it on Reddit and everyone loved it. Yeah, that sounds I was, funny. Yeah, yeah, I was sitting great. there saying like, oh, fuck yeah, fuck, fuck yeah. Because <laughs> um, I was fresh off the job site. And then, yeah, so like instantly, as soon as I was doing gaming, within like three months, I had like 50K subs. It was like, jeez. Wow. So I was like, oh shit, I should have done this from the start. <laughs> was, that, was that like variety at that point? Or was it- No, nah, it was just it was just like American sports, like oh, basketball, wow. Madden. I think it was a year in I started doing Damn, like indie games and shit. Well, well but I think you already like pinpointed the niche of just like, you know, not doing what everyone else was exactly. doing. Just being like, that's also, where it is. Also right? an Aussie playing American sport. How did you get into American sports? Uh, I grew up playing baseball, right. for whatever reason. Um, in Australia? Yeah, <laughs> I, was, I was shit at How? it. Weirdly enough, where I grew up, uh, I've never even seen Central a baseball Coast. field in Australia. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Like really? Sydney, Sydney does decent. Um, I was on the Central Coast, so like right. two hours north of Sydney. Whatever reason, my cousin was playing it. Mm. Um, he'd later go on to play in America. So did my brother. So, oh wow! You know, reasonably good genetics in the family, but not for me. <laughs> not for me. Uh, I was dog shit. But it did. It did mean my eyes were sort of open to you know, foreign yeah. sport. Mm. Right. One day I happened to see a Family Guy episode. Oh yeah. Uh, and it had Tom Brady in it, uh, which I don't know, he's my, he's, he's my guy, he's my guy. Okay, okay. Um, and whatever reason, I just remembered that. So one day I was just in EB games, yeah. saw Madden, I was like, oh shit, I'll try it. And, yeah, bless. Fuck yeah. Bless. Right. Um, but yeah, I, mean, I was just like, yeah, no one else plays this game the way I would. And I kind of took that energy and saw the success from that. Like when I started doing indie games and everything, mm. same kind of thing. When I started doing Fortnite, same kind of thing. I, I feel like I saw it slightly differently. Right, right. Not that I was revolutionary, but I definitely saw it slightly differently. Was, was it mainly like when you were growing up, was it mainly just sports games you were playing or just like a little bit of everything? Oh, bro, <coughs> I was a fucking nerd. Um, <laughs> bro, so, you're, you're on a podcast for nerds, yeah, man. You're, 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 you're right oh, in, man. God. My first two loves were RuneScape and WoW. So that's my... All right. They took right, my entire deep. childhood years and I was bullied <laughs> relentlessly for it. Yeah. Yeah, um, I'd never bit. leave the house. Uh, I mean, I, look, I did the Call of Duties. I did the Fifas. I did all that. Yeah. Played yeah, a lot yeah. of Age Vampires, like Total War series, like all the strategy nerdy shit. Yeah. But yeah. I don't even think that's that nerdy. Uh, maybe, maybe I've just grown up in a place where I'm just like, that's Yo. your norm. I got, yeah, that's so, <laughs> I got so bullied for that shit. It was yeah. nerdy. Yeah, that sounds I, cool to me, man. Yeah, oh, I, yeah I, I think it's cool. I think it's yeah, cool. Yeah. I, I got bullied for playing RuneScape. Oh, that's awful, man. I'm so I'm so sad. I missed the whole RuneScape kind of like era. It's not, like not too late, man. It's not too late. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, did, I did play it like once for like a stream, and then it was it was a lot of fun. Although I would say we played it with like a what is it like not a multiplier, but like uh, an accelerator, like a, an accelerator, a, right? So we did like a promotion with RuneScape, and yeah. they had a server that was like 
times 50 XP. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that'd be nice. And then yeah, I suddenly nice. came to the realization that I was like, I'm having a lot of fun, but if I just played this at normal speed, how long would it take to get through all the content I, t I did in that yeah, four yeah. hours? I mean, after that, I went and played on the, the times 50 server a little bit more and I was grinding levels. I was like, oh my God, this is so slow. Yeah, now as soon as you go back to the normal game, it's awful, but it's, it's weird because it's the kind of game that you play while you're doing other shit. Yeah, that's right. what I, everyone, everyone funny. who tells yeah. me who's played it does that. They're like, I'm doing something else and I just keep clicking it while I'm doing the other thing. Yeah, it's a, such a weird experience because you're playing it, but you hate playing it because it's such a grind. <laughs> but you, you just when you get a, like a level or a 99 or a big drop that's or some like shit. That's just like MMOs in general. Just dopamine. Feel, yeah. Oh, but I mean, at least, wow, you're playing the goddamn game. I feel like when yeah. you're, you literally click and then don't click for another like, 30 seconds. It's like, what are you, you, you click the tree and then you're like, click the doom, tree. Click doom. the tree. Some, dude, com you can try and combat click once every 20 minutes. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? It's like, where's that a game at that point? But like, I love it. It kind of sounds like a gacha game to me. Yeah. Like, I'm not. Right? Well, it's, just, it's just taking like, gr like it was one of the OG like grind mechanics games. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and yeah. then obviously gacha took took a lot of inspiration from those yeah. type of games like Cookie Clicker and all those games. Oh, we love yeah. Where you don't fucking click anything. We love it. You just, you know, <laughs> just let it sit. Yeah. Yeah. You just, you just click every now and then and then you're like, all right, I'm just going to leave it for 10 years. I'm going to leave the fucking Cookie Clicker on. I hate those games. I, I always just get like, I always start Cookie Clicker and then I just hack it. You just do inspect <laughs> element and change shit. And it's, 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 Does that work? Yeah, no, it just oh gives you God. instant, like, you just change one value, you get, like, you beat the game. But you don't get the gratification of the clicking the yeah, cookie. Yeah, what's the point of beating Cookie Clicker? There is no I point, right? I don't just, remember it. I don't think it does anything. It's just like a, it. it's like a it's just to say you dopamine beat it, right? bandage. Yeah. Sure. yeah. I think yeah. that's why, like, I found myself actually kind of obsessing with it for like a three hour period. And so I'm like, okay. I'm gonna hack and hack this and ruin it for myself. It's like when you cheat in a game. Yeah, you, know, you cheat in a game, it ruins the game. Yeah, yeah of in course, a lot of ways. Of so like, of you don't want to play it anymore. It's like a way to solve yourself from being addicted. <laughs> like if you if you play WoW or something, you just buy not so much in WoW, but like you buy all the gold, you buy all the gear. Yeah, yeah. you're bored right. after ten minutes because there's nothing to achieve. Right, yeah, yeah, done. Yeah. So like, yeah, and then you move on. You break that addiction. Yeah, but it's it's all it's all about the journey, right? If you, if you don't put effort in, you don't feel like the gratification of actually getting the items and actually getting like the power that you worked for which is like kind of like i guess why pay to win games is uh completely broken the system now you know yeah yeah, yeah. Sure. so even, even in those you can't even pay enough there's always like they slowly yeah, like yeah, diminishing yeah. return it to the point that you're dropping thousands and you still can't quite always win yeah yeah so what, what after the american kind of like gaming phase that you went through in youtube what what came after that uh did lots of indie games um, you know, oh, like obviously everyone breaking was, it. What's that? Sorry, o obviously breaking it as much as possible. Oh yeah, yeah ideally, like lots of mods and stuff. I, I like kind of what everyone was doing at that point. Like mm. that was the biggest thing. Was like the Jacksepticeyes, the uh, even PewDiePie at that point. Everyone was sort of just doing indie games. It was, yeah, like obviously, Eve, people were Mad successful Father. on Minecraft, Call of Duty, whatever. But mm. I still think the biggest games at the time were definitely like playing random games. Then I kind of started doing reactions for a bit. Like I just would look at Reddit and be like. This is fucking dumb. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Did that do well? Do people like yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, look, that, at that point, I was doing like 150, 200K video. That's not bad Did at all. that for a couple of years. But the issue was, it was good. Then Ad Apocalypse happens. And the problem is when you're saying uh, all the naughty words because you're Australian, you stop, you stop making money. So I, I, yeah, I, no I, I, I was yeah, there. You're, you're, you're having to, they're applying American ad standards on yes, other countries. Yeah, like yeah. UK and Australia who notoriously swear a lot more. Than America. Just the C word is so easy to say. It's not even, I didn't even say C word. It's just because the fact that, like, you know how some people say, like, um? Yeah. Like, that's fuck for me. I say, I'm <laughs> fucking, um. Like, I'll say um as well, but it's with fuck in there as well. Yeah. It's like a sandwich of it. So it meant that, like, every third word in the video was just fuck. Like, <laughs> and especially the reactions. And, like, I, I was probably a bit edgy at the time where, like, I'd show clips of, like, dumb shit happening. Yeah. yeah, yeah no yeah, one yeah. dying. <laughs> There was, I did, <laughs> no, so I did the Reddit 50 50 videos and I always. Oh, just blur you did it. Reddit 50 50? Nah, but I'd blur it. But like, you could kind of probably still. S anyway. Yeah. <laughs> like, you could maybe see some fuck shit. I don't know. But I, I, I deleted those. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I feel like I just. 2016 and pre YouTube was such a different place. So I was still kind of existing like that. Mm. Yeah. My whole back catalog and then at Apocalypse happens. So, so you're like. Fortnite, family friendly. <laughs> you know, I'd, especially the first year of Fortnite, I'd still swear a little bit, but I definitely tried to 
to be a that. little bit more intelligent with how. But did you get like yeah. a lot of parents mailing you being like, "You got to stop swearing"? Oh, all the time. No my way. My favorite really? one. It's my big. It's the, such. A, it's not even that much of a swear word, but my favorite one is. Um, it was peak COVID, so like viewership was crazy. Mm. It was the biggest Fortnite event at the time. I think I had like 900k viewers because no one could get in the game. Right, so I was doing right. a live stream for the event. It got 900k, 900K viewers. K was viewers. this on YouTube? Yeah, well, I, I was the number one uh, for that day. Like when everyone was streaming, I happened to be the number one stream. So when the servers went down and only so many people were in the game, yeah. everyone. everyone just flooded to YouTube. So right, it, was, right. it was just like crazy. But the point is, I, I was saying there was like a delay in the event for some reason. And I was like, oh, this event gave me blue balls. <laughs> and that's all I said. It was the most minor thing ever. And then I started getting abuse on Twitter from these parents, like how disgusting I was watching this with my nine-year-old daughter. <laughs> now I have to explain to my nine-year-old daughter what blue balls are. And I'm just like, why? Why do you have to explain? No, you don't balls? have to explain. You don't have to. Well, you don't, no one asked you to explain that. I'm also like, <laughs> yeah. I was probably saying fucking shit and stuff before it. So like, yeah. do your due diligence as a parent to know what your kids are watching and whether they should be allowed to watch me. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, the yeah. moment problem. you hear that Australian accent, you should be on high alert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just like, that doesn't seem like my problem. <laughs> I, I, I gotta ask, cause like, you know, when you have your normal viewers on a live stream, you know, you don't really bat an eye at it cause you're so used to having yeah. that kind of audience. When it was getting up to like, when you had like 900,000, you starting to get like a little, little nervous. You're like, oh God, this is, it was, this is a lot of people. It was definitely weird, but I think because it was a Fortnite event, you know how to handle I it. I knew they weren't, like it wasn't so much about me. It was kind of like, they, oh yeah, I didn't feel were, the pressure. Oh, okay. It was more of like, uh, is the Fortnite event good? I don't yeah. know. Just show it off. It was just, just kind of cool, just but- Minimize that box of you in the corner. Yeah. Just shrink it and be like, show the I honestly could, I could have been on mute. No one would give a shit. <laughs> um, I feel like once it goes past a certain number, like you just don't think about it. That's true. Yeah. That's true, I feel yeah. like it'd be a lot more stressful when you first start and you get 10 viewers. Yeah. yeah. When you go from like 10K concurrence to 50K, you just, it's like- yeah. Obviously you appreciate it, but it's like, it's, you're not actually changing yeah, what yeah. you're doing. Yeah. yeah ha, have sure. you tried to, I guess, like more, well, not so much censor, but be more self-conscious about, you Massively. know, you, like swearing and just say being Aussie? Oh, I still, but more strategically, like I'll say it when it's necessary. <laughs> strategically. Well, it's like- <laughs> That's a last like, resort. <laughs> I think I was talking to uh, Mr. Beast about it once, like a couple of years ago. And he's like, you don't have to swear to be funny. And I was like, Cause he sent, he used to be a little bit more edgy back mm. in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He cleaned himself up a lot. 6,000 a year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he obviously cleaned himself up a lot. He was yeah. talking to me about it. Cause I was so stressed and my ad rates were so bad. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, look, I've got mine to this point from this point. Like, here's what you got to do. And he's just like, you don't have to swear to be funny. I'm like, mm. but yeah, so that I, goes I, against every Australian like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just such a fun word to say. Yeah, like, yeah, it's so easy. <laughs> like, but I, yeah, so I, I sort of toned it back and I was like, okay. I'll just be more strategic. So if like it, the fuck really serves the video, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or it really serves what I'm saying, yeah, then I say it. But now like you got to just be more careful in general. Yeah, because I, I do like scripted videos, and I also noticed like the big dip in like ad revenue when whenever like my older videos had much more swearing in it. So every time like I script a video now, if I use like a swear word, I'm like, can I can I replace this word and it still hit the yeah. same? Yeah. The problem is though, ninety percent of the time, I'm just like. Oh, I need the fucking there, man. Yeah, and of course, I, of course. I fucking need, I fucking it. need it, man. You can't replace it. Need it. Yeah, yeah, you can't need replace it. it. Yeah, I, I remember we did a- We just ruin our ad rates, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> like we're in, we're in Australia. We, we kind of know when yeah, we're in Australia. It's fun. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, <laughs> the ad rates are gonna go down. It was one of the, like, and probably, I guess in a lot of ways, when you're scripting, it's probably not as much of an issue, but I did find it stressed me out so much more and made it so much more like harder to record yeah because i was constantly thinking about what i was saying <laughs> for the first time ever yeah whereas everything yeah. else just always just be even if like i think early on i probably put on a little bit more of the i was a bit louder i was a bit more like talking full on yeah but still everything i was saying was kind of just Whatever, just yeah. yeah. Also, also I, I, I like I can never know sometimes what counts as like a swear word for like the American audience or like the American yeah. corporations. Because mm. I remember we, we once did a panel. Uh, I think it was just me and Joey that did a panel in uh, LA, uh, and it was like a very very big panel, and we had to like sign a contract, being like you cannot swear 
on stage. Yeah, you cannot like swear. All. And I'm like, <laughs> ma'am, I understand. I will be, I will only speak the Queen's English for this panel. <laughs> and within like the first five minutes, I say, God damn it or something. Oh, really? I, and I, I, I didn't know that That's, counted as a swear. Wouldn't word. even think about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just said, God damn it. And then they muted my mic because they were like, we <laughs> oh, said yeah. no swearing. And I was like, what did I say? And they were like, you, you took the, you took the Lord's name in vain. Yeah. That is a swear word. If it's uh, not a gosh darn it, then <laughs> yeah. yeah. It is not on air. And I've I was like, I could not believe it. <laughs> I've recorded with some people that don't like you saying like, oh yeah, God damn it or anything. They don't like you saying God in any way, which is fair enough. I yeah. guess that I will respect that. Yeah. yeah. But it is such a, that's so foreign to me for that to be <laughs> yeah. like insulting. So, yeah. yeah. So like uh, you said that like that when the apocalypse happened, you were like affected quite heavily. Like at, to what degree did it affect you? Because it's like, I feel especially, you know, for someone like an Australian creator where it's like so easy to just say fuck and like and, yeah. you know, all the other words, like how, like what percentage of your channel just got fucked over? Um, I mean, so every video was demonetized Gee, all um, of them. and it was for like 18 months until I started Fortnite. It was oh actually God. like, <laughs> now like, if I look back, a lot of them got greened again, but yeah. Like right. How many videos are we talking like? I was I was doing like every, I was doing daily uploads roughly at that point. So it was like every oh video. Um, I and mean, obviously yeah. there was people so far worse off because like I was able to move back with my parents and stuff, and I was yeah. probably still earning like five grand a month or something. Wait, 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 yeah, the apocalypse said you had to move back in with your parents. Yeah, well, I lived in Sydney. It's just like I was paying like six hundred bucks a week rent or something like that. It's like that shit ad. Like you can't yeah. do that. <laughs> you no, can't do that. Fucking hell. So I I ended up like having someone else move in to pay the rent and then i just went back to my parents oh my god <laughs> and so I like but it's more of the fact that like yeah i was still probably doing like four or five k a month on revenue or right. something but like it was like but it wasn't it adding was like, up for the like, views you were getting right and that might have been australian dollars too so that was like i don't know this like two three k <laughs> yeah, it, yeah it's like i had enough to live but it's like then there's no savings and stuff and it's like yeah. you're right on that edge of like this is obviously enough to live that's like especially at that point in my life this yeah. is enough to live mm, yeah but it's I have a slight dip in views. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, it's I, dangerous. Yeah, it's like, okay, then I'm actually got, like, so that was mm. like, it was more of the anxiety of being on the edge of that. Mm. Right. Um, and granted, bless my audience, they were very supportive at the time because I was very transparent about it. I was like, I'm getting fucked. That's <laughs> um, <laughs> the last fuck by the and way. And, <laughs> and it was just like, you know, obviously plenty of creators also still work and do YouTube at the same time. Respect yeah. that massively, but it's like, once you break out of like, once I left the job site, go on, it was just like, it's a scary back. thing. Yeah, it's like, yeah. this is not gonna last forever. This could disappear. Like if I have one little dip, I'm just, it's just done. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And so, yeah, I know massively privileged too that like my parents would still house me. You know, a lot yeah. of people obviously don't have that either. So yeah. my situation was nowhere near as bad as it could be, but yeah. it just created so much unnecessary stress. I think mm. like, I was as soon as they started, you could like review the videos. Yeah. That's when it got back up to like four or five k a month. Right, right. Because <laughs> like some of them would go back to being green at some nice, point. Nice. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So like we met a lot of YouTubers who kind of just like fell into the occupation like out of I guess like accident because they never I guess they never thought that this would be a job. But it sounds like you got into this with the expectation that you're like I want to make this my job. I want this to be my career. Like wh when did you start to realize okay I can actually make this a thing? Honestly, like that, like first three months on the gaming channel, I was like, damn, this shit's easy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm actually fucking amazing. This is easy. Um, no, I mean, I, I have massive imposter syndrome. So like the entire time. Bro, so everyone uh, does, Every man. YouTuber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I was yeah. just like, this is, this is going away. This is like, I'm actually making shit videos. Why is anyone watching this? It's all bots or something. But I was like, well, I'm not going to quit while it's working. I don't know. Yeah, like, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Always. <laughs> Never felt valid. Are you ever gonna go back to the construction routes where you just start smashing shit? Um, <laughs> yeah, we, we, should, we should revisit. It. Let's, yeah, let's yeah, yeah. It. That sounds I, like a long fun. Ten year period. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ten like year. To, honestly, do it again. like yeah. if I can get like a proper team to do the proper slow mo, like I am the slow mo guys. Like yeah. I do know Gavin quite well. Maybe get him over here, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> film, film me smashing some with an excavator. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, it'd be fun. I've, I have had something written down for ages to remake my first mm. videos. Right. Dude, that, that's yeah, that'd be great. Free, free videos. Get, well, I just don't like leaving the house. I don't like touching the <laughs> so well, Thank you for coming out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I just feel like real world production intimidates me a lot. Like, okay, I know okay. how to like build something out in the gaming space or mm. even when I did real world stuff, it was always a vlog. Like right, this, right, right. bless everyone, all the, everyone doing the production here. Yeah. 
It stresses me Aren't out you so building much. a studio like, now? Was that sorry? Aren't you building a studio We now? are, we are, but still it's mostly just gonna be me sitting in a desk there. <laughs> <laughs> They've just got like a, like offices around it, just staring. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And like, I, I mean, I might build off like a lot of what Lockie's doing and his experience and yeah. even work with the people here. Uh, yeah. Knowing them quite well now. Yeah. I might do some real world things. You might see me, uh, my favorite one's, the, it's like a slasher. So it's like a big lawnmower that you put on a bobcat. You can tilt it up. You can throw things into it. So like, imagine throwing things into a giant lawnmower blade. <laughs> I watched that. This podcast is brought to you by Cash App. With tools for saving and spending, it's the best place for you to level up your money and glow up your life. And that's exactly what you need because, guys, I do not know how much money I've spent on Gacha. How no. do I fix that, guys? Gone, gone. You need Cash App in your life. But what does Cash App do, Connor? Well, gone. You can keep track of your own coin because you'll see that bounce update immediately when you waste all that money on Gacha. So you always know when a payment went through. All it takes to pay someone is their phone number, email, or cash tag. You can even scan their QR code straight from the app. So you can and pay me back now. Yeah, exactly. You can pay me back, right, Joe? You'll pay me back. Oh, me? You, yeah, you'll pay me back. Oh, yeah. yeah you, you owe me some money as well. Thanks Joe. to Cash App. <laughs> and not only that, you can save on everyday spending as well. Get exclusive discounts with the Cash App pay and cash cards. And you know what? Cash App lets you bank the way that you want. Thank God. Gamers, I've recently been playing RPGs and I would never go against the final boss under leveled. I grind that mm -hmm. shit out. Mm -hmm. So why would I go into the world not having grind my financials? Uh, so like the gamer over there, if you want to level up in your life, you got to level up on your money. So download Cash App in the App Store, or Google Play Store in the link down in the description below with no hidden fees and a free to order debit card. It feels like a cheat code for your finances. Back to the episode. So obviously you started doing Fortnite and that's where things kind of went crazy. That was the big yes. So how did you go from, I assume when you started Fortnite, it, it was already out obviously, and it, and it kind of already had its own scene. Yeah. How did you kind of see it and be like, I think I can do this differently. And then how did that translate to you becoming the number one? Yeah, Fortnite so guy? I mean, I think when it came out, I had a million subs. So I definitely wasn't like stuff. You were pretty, pretty big. Yeah. Yeah. Well I was doing like 150K, yeah, like a video or something. Um, I started when it first came out. So before anyone was really making videos on it, I was like, like first week, I was first there. Month. I wasn't the first, but I was like, I was within the first week or two of that. Wow. Mm. Okay. I was right. sort of at least playing it. But then I was having big issues with my eyes, which I still do to this day. But um, so I, I like, I stopped kind of gaming for a little bit. I don't know. Mm. Um, so I left it for like three or four months. Oh shit. And then I started seeing everyone going skits on it. And I'm like, yeah. fuck them. I want it. Like what oh, the hell is <laughs> bullshit? I want a piece, um, I want a piece of the pie. They're getting like six mil views of video daily on this. Like this game's crazy. And like, I loved playing it, but it was just like, genuinely, I couldn't look at computer screens. I was in heaps of pain. Um, oh shit. So then I just said, fuck it, fuck my pain. I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> Your eyes are just like burning. You're like, all right so guys, I, we're gonna get a I victory. Have, I sum it up by calling it like eye ligma, but I have like three like conditions, which are very <laughs> complicated. Ligma, okay. Okay. <laughs> but basically it means my eyes are always red. Uh, I'm in massive amounts of pain when I look at a computer screen and uh, there's no moisture in my eyes. Um, so oh it was just, God. I picked the worst profession in the world to, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, to look right. at a fucking screen. But I was like, damn, it was do or die. I'm like, I just, that's, that's the most Aussie solution I've ever heard in my life. Just like, fuck it, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Genuinely, I was like, look how big this is. I genuinely love playing the game. I love when I can make videos on it. I just want to do it. I'm just going to have to toughen the fuck up and do it. Right. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Any, any other person would have been like, maybe I should just do other content. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I tried to do like uh, vlogs for a little bit again. Didn't work. Um, I just struggled so much with like, organizing shit to do. I right. lived in my coastal town. I'm like, what the hell am I gonna do every day? Yeah. Like I was, it was like Logan Paul was popping off and I'm like, yeah. How do they come up with shit to do every day? Yeah. I don't understand. Producers. Um, yeah, yeah, I know, but a lot, still a lot like, of producers. you ain't doing yeah. that on bloody central coast. Like, got nothing yeah, to I do. Yeah, I mean, given it's a lot harder when you're not near much. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I think it was kind of similar to the sports videos where Everyone was like, people were definitely doing challenges. They were doing meme things. They were having fun. Mm. But I was just so shit at the game, and I still <laughs> am, that I just think I probably had a slightly different way of seeing things. Like, it goes back to that. Like, even if I, other people doing challenges, I just mm. did them a little differently. Mm. Like, yeah. I did yeah, it yeah. Sli slightly differently. And I've done so many different games. Give me the examples of some stuff you did. Oh, God. What, what was I like made the so one? many fucking Fortnite videos. So the first one that was like the big viral one was the <laughs> first ever Fortnite event. I tried to stop it. And that was, <laughs> it sounds simple now because so many people, other people did it yeah, like right. later on. Yeah. But no, everyone else went, they just watched the first Fortnite event. Right. 
one of my bless i think it was toasted had the idea we'll sit in discord it's like what if we stop it and i was like that sounds like a fucking mad idea <laughs> um, stop so it how we practiced and so we, we tried we didn't succeed but yeah. we tried okay well, what was was the strategy uh so we just built a box around the rocket ship i don't know if you ever played fortnite or saw that event or whatever it was but it was like yeah. a massive that was peak fortnite that was like ninja playing with drake era right um right. And it was a rocket ship just going in the sky. So we're like, let's build around it. Wait, wait, so how did this event work? Like there's just a rocket ship. Oh, so just in the game at random one point, there was like, they added this rocket ship to the game. And then like a few weeks later, it just took off. Right. And it was like, it was like a countdown. It was like the first ever like worldwide in-game event that everyone was participating in All at right. the same time. So everyone shared the same space or like- how So everyone, then? if you loaded into a game, was seeing the thing at the exact same time. But okay. everyone was in oh. different games. Oh, but it was okay. just happening at the same time. So you do different things where you'd like have to time exactly when you join the lobby. Mm. Some people were like the game was ending as it was happening. Some people got eliminated, had to spectate it happening. Um, but yeah, we loaded up like practicing. We practiced a couple times. Watch you build Like it. how quickly we could build it. Um, <laughs> and then we built around it and it just took off straight through it. But it was <laughs> bang a thumbnail. <laughs> and people just loved the energy of like sitting there just doing some dumb shit. Like, Everyone else just wanted to watch it. Mm. Yeah, the yeah, only yeah. one that did anything different for that event. Would you say um, that's kind of like your content brand, just taking a game and just being like, let's just do some fucking dumb shit. Well, you got like it when you're not good at them. You got to like, <laughs> you know, do weird shit. Yeah. Um, like I, my favorite Fortnite video is the one where I won without moving. Um, and that's just the same energy. It's like everyone tries to get like 30 bombs, get 30 kills. I'm like, I'm did win. you win without moving? I did win. I, I mean, look, I won without moving, but... It's because I stream sniped my friend who was in the same office without him knowing, and he was like a psychopath at the game. Um, <laughs> and I still got like one in the million, all the perfect circles, all that. Right. But I was sitting in a tree. I landed straight in the tree, sat there all game. Um, just got all the perfect circles, like one in the million. Mm -hmm. He just deleted the whole lobby. Had no idea I was in the game. Yeah. Looking for the last player. He's like, where is this dude? It's me, I'm in the tree. So then I ran into his office, kicked him out of the game and I got the victory right now. <laughs> so that was like, you That's know, so I tried smart. for a week to get it um, yeah. like just without stream sniping oh him. Yeah, so yeah, then yeah. I was like, fuck, I want to finish this video. I have to figure out how can you actually do this and think outside the box. All right. And actually I'd spent like three months prior to that trying to win completely AFK. I had someone literally, I paid someone <laughs> to just film the screen as they just load into the game and just don't touch anything. <laughs> Just to see if you can win completely AFK. So right. it was kind of like no, an evolving idea. It wasn't possible. Like it technically <laughs> was it close is. Was at any point? Like was there any I think like we got a couple top threes and stuff AFK. The but the circles would never go to where the AFK players would drop. Right, right. So it's just, you'd have to be so obscenely lucky. The odds just weren't in yeah. our favor. We've played like 2000 games or something. Jesus. Oh my God. We, we was, at one point we're running like three accounts. <laughs> oh my um, God. <laughs> but yeah, no, it was just like, you know, I, I'm shit, so I, I can't do what some of these other people are doing. I gotta, yeah. do, what, I gotta yeah. do what's organic to me. That makes sense. Yeah, well, you, I mean, you're using that to your strength, right? And I feel that's like something that, it seems like something that anyone can do, but just like, it's 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 the difference between being like, oh yeah, I could do some dumb stuff because I don't have the skills to actually like play the game normally. And then there's the difference of actually committing to doing it, right? Yeah, and I think that's like the massive gotta difference. Gotta sit there for a week filming something, you know? Yeah. But that's another thing, everyone else, not everyone else, like that's like a very general statement, but maybe like some of the people that I knew or I was watching or something, like everyone was so obsessed with like the daily Fortnite upload. Yeah. And I, yeah. I was for a bit, I would try and stick to it, but I was definitely like, if this video needs an extra couple of days, I'm going to give it to it. Yeah, 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 yeah for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I've, I've heard uh, that a meme now is, uh, <laughs> a meme that's crept up is uh, your upload schedule. Oh now, yeah, no, that's it's dog uh, shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> What's, uh, is, is that to do with your eye? Um, Ligma, actually, or, uh, in some ways, because I edited, like I got help on like a couple videos, maybe right. like 10 or 15 mm. right. videos throughout the years. But otherwise I edited every single video I ever uploaded. What? Wait, do you still do that? Uh, if it's on my main channel, mostly. Like I get some, it was like nowadays, if it's on the main channel, someone will like, do one of the run throughs. I'll add some like extra things here right. or there, but I'm still doing the rough cut organizing. And I'm still doing the final cuts. Oh and sometimes God. I'm still doing the whole thing. Well, that's definitely not helping your eyelid. Uh, no, well, so that's <laughs> it, right? So oh like- Oh my God. I Wait, think it's you're, right. you're, you're, 
you're this big and you still like edit your own videos? Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm still, I'm trying. I'm like, I'm trialing people. I'm, I'm trying to get out of this. Like, <laughs> it is like a mental illness. I don't want to, it's, like, it's, like, it's a bad thing. You should never do it. It's amazingly important early on to yeah. definitely do everything yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to learn the skills. You need to know how to edit. So when you're talking to someone who edits. You just like an idiot. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what they're going through to make something happen. So right. you're not giving unreasonable demands or something mm, like that. Yeah, I think it's yeah. very important. Is it just like the, is it the anxiety of hand Handing off something that you made to someone else or sometimes i think that's like a big issue with like that was an issue with me when i first got my editor where it's like i was editing my own stuff for the first like four or five years of my career mm. and then when i finally got to that point where i'm like fuck i don't have the time to like make these videos and yeah. upload them at the pace i want to yeah and also like i'm just not very good at editing in general so it's like and i don't so have I the time to better. like improve on it so it, i always had that anxiety of like well what if i give it to someone and it's not exactly to the vision that i wanted to or like how do i keep i don't want to be that annoying dude to just like constantly tell my editor like fix this fix this fix this yeah. when i could just do it myself All right like did you have that anxiety yeah or? i feel like i definitely struggle because i just like no matter what and like i don't want to say everyone sucks <laughs> 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 not everyone sucks but definitely people have different styles they have different approaches yeah and i think i suck at the fact that i'm not very good at like giving notes and stuff i'm like that mm. kind of person like Ah right. oh, fuck! I was doing it myself. Like they'll send me back like a test edit. Like ah oh, fuck! I'll just finish it. Yeah, I'm just right. like because I'm like oh I don't want to sit here. Oh, I, was get, yeah. I get frustrated. Right. Um. Like I said, it's me being broken in the brain. Uh, <laughs> I'm a very cooked individual. Did all my own thumbnails. Did all that. It's just thumbnails I can understand because thumbnails I would argue is more important than the editing of the video itself. Sometimes, yeah, for sure. Yeah, sometimes because I mean, yeah, I I still have not found someone that can edit thumbnails exactly the way I yeah. want it. Uh, yeah, but like in terms of doing your own editing, I, I'm still involved in my own kind of like editing when it comes to my own videos, but in terms of like rough cut, that's that's a lot of work. I, I just do like the finishing touches, man. Yeah. Yeah. Especially for someone like you who's like filming for like weeks at yeah. a time. That's right? why yeah. I don't give it to them because I know exactly from that like week of recording yeah, what, what I cut. want in it. Yeah. Right. So yeah, like, what yeah. are they going to go through? Like 25 hours of raw footage or am I just going to go, okay, well, 14 hours of that was dog shit. I know you can start, stop recording, but I hate doing that. Yeah, um, I, I, I hate I'd rather it. do like yeah. big chunks and I go, okay, I know this part I want in and I'll just do, I'll do that. Right. Yeah, we, um, uh, we filmed, we filmed a video where we kind of like just drove from like the most southern point of japan to like the most northern point of japan and <laughs> we had like how many hours of footage did we have for that well, one well it was oh. it was a 10 day road trip and there was seven cameras on it all the time so it's yeah, like yeah. yeah and uh, we did not give our editor any notes yeah. about what oh, really? happened during the we trip just, we just dumped like how did they even go through that though so sorry because he's a madman that's yeah. why <laughs> like i don't see that's where i'm like i struggle i'm not like the best like when it comes to like managing people or production processes or whatever yeah yeah i'd have zero goddamn clue yeah, yeah how, how many people are you working with now? How big's your team? Oh, uh, I think there's technically five of us. Five, so, but that's mostly just like I, you know, especially like oh, I'm making a video on Roblox. Like, help me find, like, help me test these Roblox <laughs> games. Like, more of like, even if I come up with the initial idea, a lot of the time it's helping me find the stuff I need to make it a reality. Yeah, sometimes a lot of videos just have like that annoying. Anyone could do this. It just takes ten hours or five hours to yeah. do the basic thing. You're like, I don't have time. To yeah, spend doing yeah. That. it's also yeah. good to just bounce off people, get different perspectives, That's especially true. like yeah, yeah, yeah. I do TikTok videos or something. I'm not just pulling up a YouTube compilation of TikToks or scrolling my own TikToks. It's like I you sent want, the, I sent like those boys and I said, "You got a week. Find me the best hour of TikToks, and I'll right. watch the hour, and then we'll cut it down to ten minutes." Right. Like that's like the selection process for for that. Like that will literally sit there for a week and grind out and find like <laughs> I think I said one time I in the start of one of them like I locked them in a room and force them to watch TikTok. Twitter. And I pretty much did, except they were in their own offices. <laughs> yeah. Like, I just, yeah, I mean, that's parts like, cause I don't want to watch TikToks first. Yeah. That just yeah, ruins yeah, yeah. it. So that part, I, I'm, you know, I find it easy to get help because, you know, it's, it's, yeah, it's like, it's, it's not the most complicated thing, but it's still like, they need to be funny. They need to understand mm. what humor is. So yeah, you yeah, still yeah. do need to find the right people, yeah. but. Well, that like, part's been all right. Yeah, for, I mean, for a for a YouTuber your size, five people is actually like a really fucking small team. Yeah. <laughs> from from like people we've talked to at least. I mean, Mr. Beast has a yeah, fucking like army. Five thousand people. He has, yeah. he has like a village or something. Oh like. man, he's, <laughs> he's disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> I went. Yeah, no. In like a 
like disgustingly good kind of way. You know what I mean? <laughs> but well, yeah, you've done a lot of videos with him. Uh, I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I visited Preston as well. I don't know if you know Preston, but he's got like a team of like 40 or 50 or something now. It's just people everywhere. What's their YouTube handle? Uh, Preston YT, I think. Oh, he, he did a lot of like yeah. Minecraft stuff and like uh, gaming stuff. 40, so. Right, right. <laughs> Ugh. What the fuck are they doing? I don't know. Yeah, like I mean, what? they they pump out, they're crushing. So like, they're doing something. Guess, yeah, it's got to be, yeah, 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 yeah. be working. Uh, actually, like, it's uh, the first time I heard about you actually because uh, I, I don't normally like play Fortnite, so I'm not really like in that scene. Ah, you missed uh, it. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I don't play it as much as I should do this. But. Uh, but yeah, it was was actually it was actually from a Mr. Beast video. It was the private uh, the private jet video that. Uh, uh, oh, that was the, a grind. Yeah, the hand on the <laughs> private jet. Yeah. Okay. So awful experience. Uh, nah, it was, it was so, amazing. So, okay, it was okay. awful. Ex exposing Mr. Beast right now. He what, fakes what, what? everything. <laughs> <laughs> he fakes it all. Mr. Yeah, Beast so, fakes all his videos. He he like hit us with bats every now and then. Wouldn't let us <laughs> go to the bathroom. No. Touch the jet. He's, he's great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I th I think the concept of the video was like last to take the hand off the jet. Like, yeah. You didn't do too well, did you? Oh, right. I came like fourth. Um, yeah, you, you, you got I was there for 20 hours, thank you very much. I was. I left two hours before the end. <laughs> so, so what's it like filming on a Mr. Beast video that intense where it's I, like- I've known him for a few years. Right. Um, but had never been in, I, I guess like I technically was in a video, but I'd never been in a video before. And I think it made me appreciate him a lot more because I've been in videos with some people who they will like, blow the edges a little bit. They'll like force things to happen if it needs to happen mm, for the video or right. something. He is, when it comes to filming, the most <laughs> authentic individual. Cause like, he wants it to happen like for real. Like right, right. there's no like, there was a whole thing where he'd booked out like other airports with like other activities that were supposed to fly to in the jet. Right. But because enough people didn't get eliminated in time, for us oh. to get like the clearance to go fly, we needed to get down to like six people or seven people or something. Um, and we didn't, like people didn't drop off fast enough. We just had to scrap all that. Oh my God. Like that, he just like invested in all this, but right. he never, I respect it a lot because he never forced people to get eliminated. Yeah. He made yeah, it yeah. difficult, but he, he was never like, mm, one of you guys got to go. Like he right. never games yeah. it. He was like, if you can withstand this punishment, we'll sit here. Like we're not, we're, we're he didn't like rig video. it yeah. so that we would have to go here or, you know, we'd have to get to this number by this time. So the video's done by this time because we've got to be done. He, he made sure he like booked out everything for as long as he needed to, like with tons of room. Um, he made sure like there's no bathroom breaks. Like you're going with your hand on the plane. Right. Um, <laughs> we're eating with our hand the on the plane. Uh, yeah, he put like his little tent around us. Oh yeah, I remember seeing <laughs> yeah. that. And then yeah, yeah. You, you had to smell the urine of the people next to you. It was oh my God. Disgusting. Did, did anyone need to shit? No one luckily needed oh, to shoot. Oh God! Um, we really have to. And I guess hours. luckily enough, there was no women on the shoot in that regard. Because like I would feel so bad for them. That would be like a cancel Mr. Beast moment. Because like <laughs> yeah. that would be mistreating him. Oh, um, but yeah, he's just so authentic and real when it comes to that. And that's why he has so many people and like so many staff yeah. and like he has all these contingency plans for every sort of outcome because mm. he wants it to be authentic. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, he didn't even blur any lines. He was like. This your hand is on the jet. If you keep your hand on the jet, you win the jet. That's it. Right. Was There's it, no bullshit. Was it torturous to oh, keep your hand on it? Awful. <laughs> it was awful. And because everyone else was a psychopath, like we're all just standing there and you just had to keep you can't sit down anymore. You can't rest your any surface that was like resting your hand slightly, can't do it. Yeah. Had to be held up like on top of the jet. Oh my like God. And then he taped us together to another competitor and that's what did me and I was I just couldn't handle the tape anymore. <laughs> I had a bloke next to me, but he was like leaning on me. I was leaning on him. And then yeah. everyone else had their tape removed because certain people got eliminated. So they all just had no tape anymore. And I was like, just flip the coin. See if I can get rid of the tape. So yeah. How, how did much mean. did he tell you prior to like the shooting? Cause it was like, how did he pitch it? Just like, hey, I'm doing this video with a private doing, jet. Doing this video, hands going on a jet. Do you want to be in it? So it's yeah. not very complicated. Although we went to go, f no, that was, we went to go film it and then I think it got canceled. They had to move the date. Mm. Right. So we got, we got all the way to the shooting location. I had to turn around. That was fun. But that's because like everything wasn't ready. He didn't want it to be um, yeah, 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 no yeah, bullshit. Yeah. So then we had to film it the day after the Cybermen charity match. So everyone was like exhausted. I didn't sleep really before at all. Um, there's a lot of eye ligma in that video. I was looking very fried. <laughs> I do not do drugs. It is purely from a medical condition. Um, 
<laughs> so yeah, I mean, he picked the worst day. That's why like half the side men weren't in it because it was, was half the charity. Oh, yeah, like, fuck, can't be us. I was. That's supposed to be more originally. Ah, uh, yeah. No, I think it was meant to be like. I don't know if I'm leaking shit, but oh, right. not that it matters, I don't think. But <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, I think we, originally it was meant to be like all the side men were oh, meant sure. to be in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, except I think Vic was the only one. Were you, were you in the side men charity match? Yes, I was, but you, easy to miss me because fuck did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm not an athletic individual. So if you guys don't know the side men, uh, men. Side men charity match is just basically they just do football game, rent out a stadium. It's actually pretty fucking cool. It was yeah, one, of the yeah. mo it's, one of the best moments. It, it's very British um, yeah. and they play football. Walking yeah. on a pitch in front of like, it was like 30,000 people or something. Unreal. It, it's insane. It's such a cool concept. And I love yeah. sport, but I'm obviously not athletic. So I got to like role play for like a day. <laughs> Which uh, position did you play? Uh, kind of, I think I was midfield for most of it. Played, uh, I, think I, I think I was left back at one point against speed. Oh God. <laughs> oh my God. He, he was doing some weird things. <laughs> Saying some weird shit. <laughs> bitch, he's a weirdo. <laughs> nice guy though, actually really nice. Surprised me. You're any good um, at footy? No, no. I was just run, I run like a penguin. Right. So I was just like running like such a goofy, dumbass like the whole time watching the clips back later i'm like i did not need to see that <laughs> <laughs> you don't re have you ever considered how you run uh, you've probably never thought about it have you yeah, well no you because you'd never fucking see it you just don't think about yeah, it until no. you see it especially in, like, when you're in a quality well, right? yeah you see broadcast quality of you trying to sprint after a football <laughs> fuck it it's eye-opening <laughs> it's eye-opening <laughs> Shocking. So you never run again. Oh, I don't think I'm running again. Yeah. Just wearing it off. I go yeah. for jogs and stuff. And I'm like thinking everyone walking past me is seeing, they're seeing that. They're seeing me running like the a penguin. penguin. The penguin. Either I'm a penguin or I've got a shit in my pants. And I'm like trying to squeeze my cheeks. I thought you did a lot of sport as a kid though. I, yeah. I play baseball. And I, I mean, rent that's, that's running and I that. rent to first base like a penguin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's what everyone saw. That's why everyone. I sucked at baseball. Oh like, God. I, didn't, I don't have my brother's genetics. <laughs> Damn. Did you only play baseball or like any other sports as well? Um, mostly baseball. I did a lot like school sport and stuff. Mm. Yeah, because what's normal? In, in rugby. But. What's normal in Australia for like the curriculum? Because in like in 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 England, obviously you have like footy, uh, cricket as well. Yeah, uh, I think for us it's like as well. I think for us it's like cricket, like footy, like rugby. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Right? Pretty pretty much it. That's yeah. all I like. All I did for PE was like. Yeah, pretty much just cricket. Yeah. yeah. Not not keeping your hand on the, the jet. No, no nothing there. prepared me for Damn, that. Damn, why didn't school prepare me for the real <laughs> shit that's gonna Man, happen? Man, I think if I if I just slept the night before. <laughs> yeah. I, or if I just could, if I won that coin flip to get the tape off, I reckon I won. This episode is sponsored by Grammarly. Boys, as a Boys. certified CEO, oh, I have oh, to look do, at you, I have Joey. to write a lot of emails to clients, right? But sometimes I just can't be bothered to come yeah, up and formulate it. all of these different responses in a professional what? matter. What? I wish a robot could do Words it. Words are yeah. hard. Thankfully, Grammarly is there to help me. Grammarly is an AI powered tool that's been in the space for 10 years now. It assists Ooh. with all aspects Ooh. of writing, including brainstorming and revising. If you ever need a little bit of help, just click that green button and there you go. You've got to write in your prompt of the help that you need. It's that easy? Yeah, Grammarly's got your back. God damn. Plus sometimes I need to get through all of those piles of emails so much quicker. Oh, yeah. Luckily, Grammarly mm. can help me summarize my emails Thank and provide God. suggestions on how to reply in mere seconds. And boys, I'll be honest, sometimes I'm a little dumb, as you know. <laughs> Yeah, I need know. somebody to help me write English good. And Grammarly got my back. And best of all, guys, Grammarly is free to try out, mm. guys. Free. Sign up for an account at Grammarly.com slash Trash Taste 06 if you want to get access to extra features and get 20% off Grammarly Premium. 20% off? Pretty good deal. Damn, that's a deal. Go down the link in the description below and thank you to Grammarly for sponsoring today's episode. This episode is sponsored by Boxu. Boxu delivers the experience of tasting authentic Japanese snacks, candies, Ooh. and teas sourced directly from century-old small family businesses right to your door. Their mission is to empower Japan's traditional snack makers by sharing their authentic food and stories with the world. God, what do you got there? Is that the new boxu for this it one? It is the new wow. boxu, Joey. Look at all these delicious oh. snacks, guys. Oh Look God, at all so of well that. so well packed. The moment you opened it, it all fell yes. out. This month is, of course, the fireworks 
festival box because right now there's a lot of summer festivals happening in Japan. So why not experience a little bit of that summer culture right in the comfort of your own home? The first box you'll receive is called the Seasons of Japan, kind of like the greatest hits. And following that, gone. Every month, Boxu has a different theme. So get your hands on this theme while you still can. Oh, this is a, a little snack that I always get at the corn binis, but I've never seen it in a small version like this. This is Kamu Kamu Demon, which Ooh. is like a lemon candy type of thing. Got that sourness. Nice. It's so nice. refreshing. So Gon is trying one of the sour gummies with condensed yeah. milk. How is it gone? That's really good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, also not to here. mention every single box of box comes with its own tea pairings as well. So today or this month rather, we have the Ashigaracha foot pattern tea. Oh wow. I've never heard of it before, but I'm sure it matches perfectly with every single snack in this box. So to get $15 off your first Boxu snack box <laughs> and support our channel, uh, use our code trash taste at boxu.com. That's B O K K S U.com. Mm -hmm. That is B O K K S U.com with code box. trash taste for $15 off your first purchase. I'm going to finish Back this to the now. Episode. Bye. One thing that uh, you did with Fortnite, which I found really interesting, was that you have a skin in Fortnite. Yes. How the f how how did all that come about? Like, was a um, conversation? They approached you like we want to put. Skin yeah, in no, I think game. they um they they contacted every the first five all together, and just said, "Hey, we like you. You want to be in the <laughs> game?" And you're not going to say no, so you say obviously <laughs> yes. Um, and then you sort of just begin. Uh, I think for me it was like almost two years. Yeah, um, right. From that yeah. first phone call, I think it was August 2019. Um, for a long time, I didn't actually. It felt. I didn't like want a skin happen. because, which sounds dumb, but it's because I already had a character, uh, the gingerbread man. Oh, right. Uh, the oh, Merry Marauder. Yeah. That was already so uh, integral to my brand and identity that I felt by just releasing a skin for the sake of releasing a skin, <laughs> as cool as it would have been, it would feel disingenuous because it would just be like... Backstabbing the gingerbread man. Well, in <laughs> some ways, but it kind of just like, I'm just forcing this out for the sake of it. I don't know, yeah. like I already was so attached to this thing. Yeah. yeah. But then um, my girlfriend had the idea of making it the old me, like the young me before, who had the dream of like, I, I, my Fortnite skins are tradey. Right. Yeah. So it was what I did beforehand. <laughs> yeah. So it was just kind of, instead of trying to be some like superhero looking thing yeah. or yeah, some yeah, crazy yeah. outfit, which they all look really cool. Um, it was just more of like honoring the kid that always dreamed of being where I am Aww. now. Which sounds like it's oh, wholesome really garbage, really right? Awesome. I get it. Yeah, yeah. But that's why I was like, okay. That okay. sells skins, <laughs> baby. Yeah, let's go. Milk it. The totally story so. behind it. That's my one one of my two tattoos is just my Fortnite. Oh my girl. god. Really? Put that right there. What's your other tattoo? Uh, it's, oh fuck this. I, I I don't regret it, but it's definitely a lot of Sounds like a lot of regret. Oh no! What is it? <laughs> it just says <laughs> <It just laughs> yeet. <laughs> okay, so when I, I see I was a fucking broken record. I could not stop saying yeet. Like you would have been I don't know. I'm assuming like the cold ones one yeah. comes out before this. Yeah. 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 But like Chad, all he does is say double it and give it to the next person. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he says. He, he always says to me. So I'm like, same thing. Broken record. I couldn't stop saying yeet. It was already a dead meme. So I made it my meme. The fact that it was a dead meme, I just couldn't stop saying it. Yeah. So and then I was like, it'd be funny. I mean, it's a fun word to say. Yeah. yeah. But I was planning on getting tattoos all up this arm. So it wasn't going to be quite yeah. as yeah. distinguished yeah. as it Hide is now. The heat. Yeah. Yeah. But now it's just like yeet and code laser. Yeah. Well, I, I remember Joey went through a phrase where he just would continually dab even when the dabbing meme oh, yeah. was I, just I was dead. keeping that shit alive. Yeah. Hey, nothing wrong with a good dab. Yeah. Hit a bottle flip, yeah, then a hit the dab. I think one year, it was like 2016, 2017 way after like the dab had already died. I was just like, I'm going to challenge myself to see that if every photo I take and I That's upload right. onto the internet is of me dabbing. No. Oh God. Yeah. And I did it for the no. entire year. If you look up any photo from like 2016, what? 2017, it's me dabbing. <laughs> there isn't a single just, normal photo of me in that It's holding year. a fidget spinner or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I should have yeah. double fidget spinner. Too. I, I actually, I hit a fidget spinner with a sledgehammer once and it slammed into my ankle and like, like fractured my ankle. <laughs> That's the one video I made with a fidget spinner. <laughs> you got you got taught a harsh lesson. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. it was like a metal one. I was like, oh, I reckon I could break this with a <laughs> sledgehammer. So I hit it and just slammed in my ankle. Me versus ten thousand dollar fidget spinner. It yeah. probably was some cringe ass title like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you got the skin made and then yes. it came out. And what was the reaction like when you? Brought it was it out? funny because like a lot of people loved the message behind it, but everyone who was an Australian had no fucking clue what it was. What well, was they, the they didn't know what to trade. Well, they didn't want to trade it because it like. What was the skin name? Was it just called? It's just called Laser Beam. Laser, okay, okay. I'm pretty sure. Actually, I think it's just Laser Beam. Yeah. Um, but what, what was the message behind it? Well, it, it was just pretty much just like, 
Well, his old self. Yeah, yeah this is my old yeah. self. Because I, I did a video and like I did the lowest production value video out of anyone who announced their skin. <laughs> it was funny. I did the thumbnail like 30 minutes before it went up. Oh, I was God. sitting in Discord with Lockie like, this looks all right, isn't it? Like, <laughs> it's only like one of the biggest moments of your life. Yeah. <laughs> you just throwing this shit together last minute. I'm like, Ab, you're right. Um, yeah, so I kind of did a video on a job site that uh, my dad's working on actually. So it's kind of like, it was a throwback. I went there. Oh, yeah. I just talked yeah. about the skin, why I picked what I did. Um, so a lot of people really like that, but they're just like, like everyone else is all these glowy characters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And look, the skin did well. So I'm like, people still, you know, supported this. That's, we, we love that. But um, yeah, yeah. No, everyone really responded well to, to the message behind it. And, definitely. And also another big thing for Fortnite creators that I don't think I've seen any other game do is the tattoo you have. It's that and Roblox. It, yeah. Oh, of course. Roblox, Roblox has a star code, yeah. which is also you can use code laser. Oh my God. But that doesn't do as well because like, Kids have to steal their parents' credit cards for that. Yeah. So, so, yeah. Which you should not do unless you are using code so, laser. Can you <laughs> explain what the credit code is for people who might not it's have known what it was? And one of was the most deal. amazing, brilliant things, and I will forever be grateful to Epic Games for it because it basically allowed it so you had another way to support people making content. Mm. So they made it so that if when you're buying skins, uh, you could enter a code and the person whose code it would, would get 5% of the purchase. Right. So it just gave- That's a lot. There were so many people who had like just different forms of content, map builders, uh, yep. Instagram pages, things that didn't necessarily generate lots of ad revenue or mm. something like that. Yeah, or yeah. For me early on when I was getting really bad ad rates with Fortnite, yeah. I was still making decent money because the views were so crazy, yeah. but like it was massive for me. Like yeah. it, was, yeah. it was such a massive thing for me. Um, it gave so much more security where like, you know, ads were inconsistent. Um, right. And that's just for me. Five, but like percent of a skins, especially if you're getting a 10 was, million view video. It, that's, yeah. that's, that's, it that was, it that's was, wild. it was good. It was good. And I think it just made it like, so it was viable for so many more creators to actually make content full time yeah. or, yeah. you know, be around the game full time. And obviously it was a brilliant decision for them because mm. it bred so much creator loyalty. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then like, yeah, you I see a lot of people do it now. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, starting to at least, I think they're, they're still doing it now. Yeah, no, they still do it now. Although the codes do expire every fourteen days, which was oh. brilliant from them because even I forget to put my own code in when I buy skins. <laughs> oh, so you have to you have to re-enter it every fourteen days. Oh, which okay. is fine because I, I guess the you, idea I, is they want people to do different codes. But yeah, I thought you would have had to have done it for every purchase anyway. I no, thought, I didn't know you. You could just <clears throat> no, do one and done. The, the thing is, is like a lot of people on Fortnite were on console and they're you lazy. You don't want to type. Yeah. Right. No, yeah, they're yeah, lazy. Yeah. So when I changed, my code was originally laser beam and then I changed it to laser and like usage of my code went up like 50, 60%. No. Just because people are fucking lazy. Yeah. Wow. And I get it. I'm with them. I'm with them. That's crazy that it's that big of a difference though. Just yeah, I can't remember the exact characters. number, I, like, but it was definitely like significant increase. Jeez. Oh, wow. Fuck. Yeah, we talked to Lachlan a bit about the, I guess, the economy of Roblox because I I I know basically nothing. The stock uh, exchange. The of stock Roblox. exchange. Roblox is fucking mad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and how weird. like yeah they would like people would I guess like make a fucking sweatshop or something except the kids would like make maps. Uh, what? I I guess like what is that about? Like I I I did not get like the full picture. Can you can you explain to me what the economy of Roblox is? Of Roblox is. Yeah yeah yeah. It's an interesting thing because I only really make videos taking the piss out of the game. <laughs> um, like I'll, I will just like, I'll spend like 10 grand and pay to win and just like, I don't want to say bully kids because they can always leave the game. So they're kind of, <laughs> they're choosing, they're yeah, choosing to get, yeah. they're choosing to get destroyed. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, like all these Roblox games, not all of them, but a lot of them are pay to win. Right. Um. How so? Well, okay. So like, I mean, one of my favorite ones is like there's this game we can it's like slap it's like slap battles yeah and you yeah. meant to slowly grind the more people you slap the more points you get you get mm. a better hand to slap people with They're, it's like a playing with lego it's fun yeah but then you can just go in and spend like 20 bucks and buy like a god hand and you're unkillable and everyone who joins the lobby you just slap the fuck out of them <laughs> and you just, you just knock them off the map and they can't do anything about it and it's the funniest thing I'm like, this is $10. This is cheaper than a movie. And I'm sitting here having the time of my life. Um, so I guess like a lot of kids like just love buying that shit. There's also, you can buy items. It's so like right. there's thousands of games. Right. Um, it's just like anyone can make a game. Anyone can upload any game and then you can monetize it however you want. Mm. Right, right, right. Um, and I think you get 30%. So if someone spends $100 on your game, you get $30. Right. Um, 
and yeah, this is a nasty cut from them. That, I feel that, like they provide the servers, the game I engine. So, I've yeah, talked yeah, to yeah, developers yeah. about it because I thought the same thing, but the mm. developers seem, some of them at least seem quite happy okay, and okay, content right. with it. But you can create like cosmetics. Mm. You can have yeah. sell, a lot of them are like pet simulators and stuff where you buy you buy and trade pets like it's fucking Pokemon, <laughs> except they all just look like squares and like bless <laughs> those guys, they, they help me make a video. So like the game's fun and it's just addicting. And it's just like, Kids just love collecting these pets yeah. and upgrading their pets and having more powerful pets. And you know, they spend money to get those pets. And you come along, you're like, how, how can I best ruin this kid's day today? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so my big thing is like, I just like to spend a bunch of money to get on high scores. Right. So yeah. be like, they'll be like these kids that are grinding for months. Like you see their play time. No. I'll come in 15 minutes. <laughs> Three hundred dollars, oh number God. one, <laughs> and I'm like, job's done. It's a, it's a good lesson to teach kids. <laughs> it's my most popular video on my channel. Was the first episode of that. This sounds like a great video idea. I yeah, it was it was fun. mad. But so yeah, like basically just sell the cosmetics. Whereas for Fortnite, Fortnite sell the skins in Roblox. You just like people make the skins. Right, right. And you right. buy it off a marketplace. So even your character that goes from game to game. Someone's just made that skin. So that's why you get all the meme ones. Like people just run around SpongeBob or like, you know, any any character you can think of, mm. any meme at any time. Right. Um, and that's just how, and they just take yeah. their cut off that. It's all pretty much all UGC, like user generated content. It's smart. Is I mean, they, Roblox is worth over, a, I think well over a billion dollars. Sure, it's I think a, so. Yeah. It's yeah. crazy that it's worth. I think it's, it's the most valuable game. It's the most played game, I'm pretty yeah. sure. It hit uh, on update nights for it, which I don't know what they are. Um, but it gets up to 10 million concurrent players. Yeah, it's, it's not like not like daily active, like concurrent. Yeah, Fuck. there is more people probably playing right. One of the there's a game called Blocks Fruits, which has at any given time 300,000 to 600,000 concurrent players playing a Roblox game. Oh my god! About being an anime character. I'm pretty sure. I think it might be based off like One Piece, but like a rip off. Block Fruits. Yeah, <laughs> Blocks Fruits. Yeah, but it has more players concurrently than all the Fortnite game modes. <laughs> Yeah, that's kinda... Epic Games' biggest game has less concurrent players than fucking Blocks Fruit. <laughs> and I'm like, that's a compliment to fucking Blocks Fruit because like, it's yeah. a great game. <laughs> but like, what the fuck? So, so it works in a browser. Yeah, uh, uh, it's on a phone. Yeah, that, yeah. That's, that's like two big things oh that just God. make it like easy. You know, it's so it's easy. Lego the, pieces yeah. with anime swords. Yeah. And it's, <laughs> And it's more players than all of, because Fortnite recently just showed it. So like they'll show their concurrent players and all their games because they're yeah. trying to do a similar thing yeah. where they like, there's all these Fortnite maps. They want to do a lot of UGC uh, yeah, yeah. generated stuff. But, and so now they show you how many people are in Battle Royale right now. Yeah. It's less than Blocks Fruits. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> I gotta, I, how how am I getting from this is I got to play Blocks Fruits. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. if it probably every... 10 year old in the world is playing block fruits. So that's All what right, I get from. Jesus. And they, they, they are making tens of millions of dollars a year. How do they get around copyright if it's like user generated content? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Um, <laughs> that's I just, the golden question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I you mean, if there's you, this much money and you this wait much- until the cease and desist. I, I feel like the big boys like say block fruits, just everything's a different name. Everything looks slightly different, but yeah, maybe it's right. just got a similar energy. But for people making like meme skins, I, I just don't think they care. <laughs> Like they just like ban them if it's like bad or something. Like, right, right, I don't right. Know. But you'll see people running around with some funny ass characters in Roblox. Yeah, because because I I guess it's I, it sounds like a similar thing to like say VR chat or something where all like the avatars yeah are it's definitely user generated oh, VR chat's fucking great yeah but ex except I don't think I, I think right now it's mostly user generated and I don't know if they're making a profit or anything like that. I th well, there isn't six hundred thousand people in VR chat. Yeah, that's sure. that's that's the thing, right? Yeah. That's the thing. Jeez. VR chat doesn't have block fruit, thing. man. That's crazy. I, I don't know how VR chat. But it's I think Roblox is also like the biggest game on YouTube right now, like far and away, right? For like views, right? But you just never necessarily see it. But it's yeah, I guess because it's if you're our age, you definitely don't. Yeah, see Yeah, no, it's it's not for me from like a content watching thing mm -hmm. necessarily. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. God, I love playing it. It's so fun. <laughs> I recommend everyone who has, you know, if, like, if you ever like, got some disposable income money. for look, like a little bit, just go bully some you're, you, you are, you are teaching some these kids a valuable lesson. Capitalism. You know? Get ready for the real world, right? Yeah. Life comes at you fast. There's always, always someone with a fatter wallet. 100%. You got to deal with Get that. Get good. <laughs> there's, there's Skill issue. <laughs> What's the most fucked? The spawn issue. It's the spawn, spawn, spawn issue. issue. Yeah. <laughs> there's one thing I want to ask you about. This is my... One of my favorite Fortnite controversies. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah well, yeah, it was, yeah. it's not really about Fortnite, but there was a, 
I mean, you probably you probably know all about this. There was this, I know you guys might not know about this. There okay. was this kid in, uh, who was in the Phase Clan called Jarvis. Oh, I oh. don't know about this. Oh. And so okay. what he did was he yes. had the you know because content was running a little dry. <laughs> he yeah. had the big brain idea of what if I made a video where I downloaded an aimbot and showed off an aimbot in like normal. Like, oh, feel I like have I've heard, heard of this. Yeah. Yeah. It was like a, it was like a cultural yeah. moment. It wasn't just a Fortnite moment. <laughs> it was it huge, was... you know. Cause cheating was rampant, but he went into like a normal non-ranked game, I think, and just showed off what it was like and what these cheaters were using. Right. Uh, yeah. And then he got a lifetime ban from Fortnite. Permanent ban. Oh, uh, yes, ban. I have heard of this. And yeah, yeah, he yeah. Made a, and it, he was also like, he was like, what, like seventeen? Yeah, yeah, he was yeah, young. Yeah, yeah. He's and young. he made a video like crying, and it was very. And a lot of people felt like it, it was became unjust. the biggest meme. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, what do you think about that. I just want to hear your take on it. Fuck a moron you... for hacking. Like, yeah, it's an obvious <laughs> thing. You just don't you don't mess with that at all. But, like you said, he's young. He was young, so yeah. I, I, it's it's such a it was such a weird case. It was like obviously you're a fucking idiot, but yeah. I think it's like a, a double standard thing, right? It was usually because if they made the exception for him because he is young and he is popular. What? Well, like what, what about what about the, the other people who actually just hack? Yeah, right? obviously yeah, he's not yeah. hacking because he needs to. He was good at the game. He was hacking to show a point or make a funny video, or whatever. But it's like, where do you draw the line then on like other people's ban appeals and stuff mm. like that? It you was can, a tough spot for to. Epic to be in. I would have unbanned him, but you know. Yes. They, they, they could have also banned him and had a time limit on it, which was also another option. But it's just, I think it's just like the usual thing is a hardware IP ban every yeah, person. But the, I would say the one argument I have against that is usually because most people who are banned do not have their identity attached to it. Yeah, they, they, they do. Are, they are able it. to get around it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was like, it's not just like he couldn't make Fortnite videos anymore because yeah, he would was get gone. sued. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Even, if, even if he like made the video and like, you know, didn't show the character name or made a new account every yeah. time he made a video, he would get sued. Yeah. Like, so he had absolutely no choice. I think, I think, yeah, he probably should have been unbanned, but how, how did, bit of a fucking did they get resolved or no, he, he just never, moved never games. Gone, and you know, strange. credit to him. He's, he's found ways to pivot throughout the years, but it's just <clears> a shame because he, he was, he was good. He was popping off. He was going crazy. It was, yeah. Yeah. Um, it was huge news when it happened. I remember it was, and then everyone had an opinion because it was. As everyone does all the time good, on it was Twitter. A good, good story. <laughs> it was a fucking story. <laughs> Whether they should or shouldn't this. I've yeah. got thoughts on this. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I think I saw this on a clip like somewhere I, I, on some person like explaining it. And I mean, it seemed like he was very sorry about it, but I oh, he was very he was very very sorry about it but i don't know it was a fucking dumb thing to do yeah i mean it's kind of like i guess in in my field like i it would be like hey there is this website that you can do to watch anime like illegally by the way i'm just showing it off not because i promote it but yeah. here let me Look just show it off yeah. Yeah. let me just show it off watches are yeah yeah let me just show it off to all my viewer He's base yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know what i mean like it's, that's like no difference to just like putting a mountain of cocaine on the table and being like you see this this is bad <laughs> this don't is do definitely this. <laughs> meanwhile you're just racking it up yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. like don't this is bad i'm gonna yeah. show you how bad it is yeah, yeah. i'm gonna show so you the bad. effects yeah. of this and how bad it is right now drugs are bad yeah. kids <laughs> Drugs is terrible. It's like, officer, your honor, I was just try trying I'm to show you the example. <laughs> I was like, just, yeah, just added yeah, to like yeah. reason like 50 of why I was glad I got into YouTubing after the age of 18. I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think it's like an interesting thought. And I think of this with a lot of YouTube controversy where people do something dumb. It's like, there is a feedback loop that happens on YouTube. Yep. And like, say, I use Logan Paul's example. They're not comparable situations, but I would say, large amounts of the time you're making content you get a positive response you go a little bit more extreme with that content you do something more outlandish you go a little bit more wild with it mm. yeah more of a positive response the more extreme yeah. the video the more extreme the emotions you're engaging yep. more yep. extreme the views response i'd say with like logan and his forest thing obviously horrible thing to do <laughs> yeah. but up until that every time he did something crazy getting constantly like positive feedback everyone yeah. on twitter yeah. from his him. audience more, I think. even honestly in general i would say at the time he was in YouTube Rewind. He was the face of YouTube at the time. He was getting four, five hundred million views a month. I'm not saying whether he yeah. was doing the right thing all the time. I feel like I'm, there was a good chunk of people who on the internet who were not a fan there even before that. And I think that was like the yes, this he finally yeah, did. Yeah, it was like two opposite ends of the spectrum for but sure. But I'd say yeah. like, even the bubble he was in, I was saying yeah. like, well, he could be a bad person anyway. I'm just saying yeah. that like for that 
thing, he was constantly going crazy or getting more yeah. good results from it. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he started out saying, this is a great idea. This is where I want to end <laughs> up, you know? And obviously it's very different to the Java situation, but I would say in Fortnite at the time, like oh, yeah, people who yeah. were doing videos of like, catching a hack or something like that. You're getting all these positive responses that makes it so you don't fully consider all the potential mm, outcomes for yeah. what you're actually creating. Especially like it's it's always interesting to see when a video gets posted or when, you know, your own kind of content and your own kind of character gets judged to an audience that's outside of your established mm, audience yes, as well. Because yeah. you, sometimes you don't, <clears throat> sometimes you get kind of a reality check, uh, especially, you know, with someone like Logan Paul or someone on that size where you, you get the feedback that you don't normally expect, yeah. you know, mm. and you, you get- And it can, be, it can be healthy, obviously. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, there was also another video that came out not too long ago that was kind of similar, uh, but I guess very different in delivery and purpose. Uh, there was a guy who did a video about Tarkov and cheating in Tarkov. Uh, and he, in the video, he, he downloaded an aimbot and he was trying to find other people who were also using an aimbot. <sighs> and it was really kind of compelling because there was, there was moments where the two aimbot dudes could see each other through walls and stuff. <laughs> and they were like noticing each other and giving each other That's signs. Active. And they'd be like, don't shoot me, I'm also aimbot. Go and shoot someone else. We're friends. We're yeah, friends. yeah, yeah. And, and, and he was just kind of like documenting. It was a really good video. And it, it kind of threw that community into like uproar because they were like, what the fuck? Yeah. But I, also, yeah. I don't. I, it well, that's it. Like, yeah, I, I think there's been so many videos I've scrapped because I'm like, oh, Epic might not like this or this game dev might not like Especially it. Yeah. Like, I guess that's also a way where the creator or maybe the skin has a little bit of power. Hey, I would say, I would like, say for sure. Um, but I, I think there's just, you know, how far can I push it before I get like in trouble <laughs> off Epic or something, <laughs> yeah. you know? Yeah, we did this video where we played the old versions of Fortnite that people sort of like re-uploaded oh. and remade. And it, you're f like, we worked out <sighs> after a while, you're fine to do it as long as you don't do the multiplayer one or you don't use skins. Cause I don't want it to be like people can play this other Fortnite where oh, they're not playing right. skins and right, stuff like right, that. Right. Um, so it ended up being fine, but it was like, the, there's a line here and we're here. Always, always <laughs> yeah. 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 Have you ever right. been contacted or been told like- Epic Games told me told me to take videos down, yeah. Oh what? shit. Oh, I wow. was doing like a glitch or some shit and they'd be like, yeah, no, fuck that <laughs> off. And I was like, look, I love you, you whatever you want. <laughs> Fair enough. Cause like, it was actually something they just couldn't fix for a while. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, it was like game breaking. Well, okay. um, can I uh, so it was, I think at the time you could fly a helicopter or something well above the height barrier. <laughs> so you could just get a bunch of meds at the start of the game and just sit up there and just heal without anyone. Oh. Like no other player could even see you. Right, right. You just sit up there and you just win every game. Are you uploaded the video doing that? Yeah, yeah, everyone did. <laughs> <laughs> well, because it, it was like early on, it was like a rat race, bro. It was, yeah, like, yeah. It was like, if you didn't do it- so You had to get this video out. Yeah. That was awesome. I used to sleep like two or three hours a night, edit my own video like, I try and like sometimes weep as I'm going to sleep, but I had no moisture in my eyes. I couldn't cry. <laughs> <laughs> it was a fucking grind because you were in a constant hustle to get that stuff out. I didn't have time to think of like, oh, is Epic gonna like this glitch? Yeah. I mean, I mean at the end of the day, like, make fix your bugs. Eh, my yeah. problem. Yeah. But you know, they asked nicely. I'm like, fair enough. That's reasonable. Like, they yeah. explain why. I'm like, oh, I'm waiting for the laser beam apology video in like two years. Like, <laughs> sorry, I didn't for, mean it. Sorry for hacking your game, bro. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Um, but yeah, I mean, like. It makes they didn't ban me though, but yeah, I was constantly yeah, yeah. scared. Sometimes they would. Do, have, do you play other games outside of the games you make content around? Um, uh, Runescape. I play. I still play a little bit of Runescape. I had a <laughs> WoW phase at the start of this year, oh, or no. end of last year, I should what say. Wow, well, classic. Came uh, out Dragonflight came out the the new expansion. Oh, okay. I did do classic Burning Crusade mm -hmm. for a bit. Um, I just don't like other people, so I can't raid. <laughs> Well, I get socially anxious, mm. so right. I don't like- uh, I feel, Unless they're children, right? Unless, yeah. well, unless, unless I can you just, get the children that I, you can bully. If I could just pay money to be better, then you're amazing. <laughs> but like- Saudi prince win the game. <laughs> yeah. You know, I ain't, I ain't beaten like Illidan with like like a couple V-Bucks or something. You know? I'm like, <laughs> I can't just pay some money. Um, so yeah, like raiding like intimidated me. So I didn't, I didn't keep playing. What else do I play? I play still a lot of sports games, play a lot of Crusader Kings. Uh, like the, oh, the strategy wow. games, oh, wow. love that shit. Um, been playing Super Auto Pets a lot lately. Shout yeah. out, <laughs> mobile games. Oh, what else did I play? Honestly, like it's either hardcore strategy games. I love strategy games. Or yeah, I'm yeah. quite literally just playing a sports game of some kind. Probably yeah, <laughs> right. FIFA. <laughs> Oh God, um, the good old days, man. Yeah, it's really hard to make videos on strategy games though. Or oh, it's it's really tough, but some people do make some great. Yeah, who's there? There's another Aussie who does. I think he does like Factorio videos. Oh, I haven't seen that, unfortunately. Uh, Sounds like I'm missing out. 
and they're really good because Factorio is probably the most boring fucking game in the world to watch someone play. <laughs> but some people can make but, shit so compelling. Yeah, they just make it into a good narrative and it just works. I forgot the guy's name. He's very funny. Um, he does like Just Cause speed runs, but oh. when I say speed runs are like 70 hour runs. Fucking hell. In one go. Insane yeah, yeah. humans, yeah. Insane yeah. humans. I actually like just another level of insanity. You, you mentioned earlier as well that, you know, when you started out, or maybe you do now. You, you had imposter syndrome, but obviously right now you're at like such oh, a still, high. It's, it's worse now. Right? High level. Like, does it? Yeah. I mean, how does that come into effect with slowing down making content, or do you second guess yourself a lot more when it? Blows I think stuff? that is. Um, I think when you're in a rhythm, um, it's easy to just keep that. going. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. you don't think like you still have imposter syndrome, but like you don't. You're still just in a rhythm. Yeah. Yeah. When you sort of take because a bunch of shit happened in my life in 2021 that was sort of the reason. To take a step back yeah yeah right. um shit that was outside my control unfortunately but you know life's fine now but it sort of broke that rhythm a little bit mm. and all of a sudden when you're out of that rhythm you start overthinking videos a little bit and you're like <laughs> i know what you mean i know yeah you mean. Yeah. yeah and then you get like an eight out of ten or nine out of maybe 10. i'm not as good as i thought i don't know this is crazy <laughs> uh and it also just becomes down to like a lot of shit's quite boring in gaming right now i would say unfortunately like there's nothing that really makes me too enthusiastic yeah so i feel like if i'm not fully believing in the video it's not worth it it's not worth it mm. even though people just like saying you have fun just do, just do something yeah. well yeah. it sucks right because you kind of get that you kind of get like a false allurement because sometimes you get some videos that just feel so right and it works perfectly yeah and then you're like damn but this other video just doesn't just doesn't feel like that and it's like well that's what having a job is. It's yeah, is yeah. Not relying on that high of getting everything perfect. Mm. It's it's having to force yourself when the idea is maybe not as good as it could be to either make it better <laughs> or just power through and make it decent. Yeah, yeah. But is is that not like I would say some of the massive privilege that comes with like oh, perhaps you have some previous success. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And there isn't that like do or die. Like when I was leaving the job site, it's like it's this or I'm. I have fucking no idea what I'm doing. With right, my life. Yeah. yeah. You are you are just whatever it takes. Whereas yeah. now you have choices. I yeah, could now, now it's yeah. Great. Yeah, I can go yeah. be in other people's videos. I could do this. I could like I could upload, not upload a video. I could yeah. I could not I could honestly not upload, but I still love it. I'm still obsessed yeah. with it. So it's like you don't have to do stuff you don't necessarily want to do, which is a massive privilege, but it does lead to that like you know, paralysis, like decision paralysis in some yeah, ways too. Yeah. Especially when you start doubting yourself with like Am I as good as I used to be? Like, well, yeah, people yeah, don't like me anymore. Yeah. Like, oh, but ha, yeah. Ha, have you ever thought about doing things outside of just like, you know, gaming videos? Like, because obviously you do like a lot of challenges with games yeah. right now, yeah, but you, you definitely have like more. the resources to do like wild and wacky yeah, challenges. Yeah, like you can do like some life. like wild, like IRL stuff. Well, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what, like, my ignorance, unfortunately, coming into this, like, I, I knew a lot of you guys from like, I was, I was saying to Alex, I'm like, Oh, they're the anime guys, right? <laughs> and, and that's like my ignorance. I apologize. But like, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Like, there's a lot of like origins there, but you've like sort of expanded into other things. Yeah, and stuff yeah, as well. yeah. I think um, definitely. Like, I, I, I mean, I, I've done pretty much everything that can be done, like sitting on your computer, like yeah, right any sort of react right. stuff, yeah. streaming, gaming, whatever it is. Mm. And like I said, when I was doing real world stuff, it was very more vlog style. Yeah. But I think it is definitely like a goal of mine this year, especially I've done a lot of stuff with the Sidemen who do a lot of like, all they do is- I mean, that, that's, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, all yeah, they I'm do is up. the real world stuff. And I think it's just, it's just fun. I'm like, I don't really care. Like I've been there, done that when it comes to getting views. It's not really about that, I yeah. suppose. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Filming yeah. now. It, it'd just be cool. I think it'd be a cool little thing to see. So I'm definitely trying, but we'll see. Yeah, because I, th I feel like there, I don't know, there's a feel, I feel like you would be so entertaining to do, to see you guys just like, to see you just doing challenges IRL instead of just, maybe instead of bullying kids. <laughs> it's <laughs> funny though. <laughs> bully kids IRL. It's got yeah, bully, bully kids IRL. Kids IRL. Yeah, sure. Bully kids IRL. Oh, oh, I had an idea. So okay. I had an idea. Right, I'm not right. going to do it though. It was a YouTube short because I didn't know how to thumbnail and title it, but it's like someone kills me in Fortnite, I shop at the house. <laughs> <laughs> I go, hey, you want to fucking go? And statistically, they're probably like 15. Yeah. So I can probably like, let's box a match. <laughs> Slap challenge, no, because the whole idea was like, challenge him troll. to a fight IRL. Right. They beat me in Fortnite. I'm dog shit at Fortnite, but I'm like, fight me IRL. There's also a chance I show up as a big bikey or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kills me. <laughs> Which would be equally entertaining. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, not for me. <laughs> not for me, though. Do you think you're going to be a good dad? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm an amazing uncle, so I think I'll be a great dad. Because they're on gonna, my you're team. You're going to teach him hard lessons right away, <laughs> I think, out of the gate. <sighs> I don't know, because, like, I think... I'll spoil them. They'll be, they'll be, they'll be the ones bullying the other kids. <laughs> yeah, you just teach them like this is how you. Bully oh, you I get my. If your kids sucked at the video game, you're like, no, 
we, no, we can't have this. Yeah. We gotta fucking pay to win right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, card. no. Right so now. I have my nephew as part of my most recent Roblox video I did. I gave him $10,000 worth of Robux. <laughs> <laughs> He's 10, by the way. <laughs> oh, I don't know if, okay, I'm not, I'm not allowed to say it. I'm allowed to say this because his dad might get mad at me, but anyway, it's funny. Um, he spent it all within a day. Because <laughs> he just didn't know what the fuck. No. He had no concept of what it was actually what, like money what? Well, because in Roblox, buying. like some guy just convinces you to buy some item that's actually worth like 50 Robux for like 50,000 or some what? shit. Yeah. And I think he might've just wasted on one, one or two games or something. And yeah, you know, it was gone in the day. So I'd probably do that. I'd probably just be. That's insane. I can't help it. They're just like. Do you feel like you want to give them a hundred now and see how long it takes? Yeah, like, it, was, it was. It was kind of funny because it was for the video, so I don't really care. Yeah, but yeah, like, obviously, he got right a little off. bit of trouble. He was supposed to share it with his sister, but he didn't. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's the main thing he got in trouble with. Um, I'm, sure, I'm sure. I'm sure he's got another 10k, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, if I if I had some left, but it's really hard to buy that many robots. Nothing wrong with spending ten thousand. The fact you didn't share, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah. big no. I just don't know how it went that fast. He messaged me because he has a phone now. Yeah. So he messaged me. He's like, Uncle Lenny. What, how f can I spend these Robux after I sent it to him? He's like, yeah, you can spend it. I was like, just go really slow, spend it over like a two months or something like that. Have fun, enjoy yourself, no. you know, buy the things in your favorite games, pay to win, do that stuff. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. Then it was gone in the day. <laughs> Did he buy <laughs> anything substantial? Or Fuck you just no. Get scammed? He's, like you just his character, I checked his account. It's got nothing interesting on it. <laughs> <laughs> Where did it go? <laughs> what do you, like someone's probably just messaging like, oh yeah, now buy this like hat for like, a million or some oh shit. He could have bought one of those like items on the exchange and then he could have been like, all right, uncle, I've managed to turn the 10,000. He could be investing, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I am, I'm a mogul of Roblox. I am. <laughs> That's like, how all the richest Roblox like people like made that money. Yeah. Is they yeah, like yeah. traded collectibles. Either yeah. that or they make the games themselves, but. Um, yeah, sure, no, yeah. I'll, I'll be, I'll be probably spoiling them. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I know you should, you should uh, teach him a lesson in like investment. I, I don't know why, but the- Yeah, send him bankrupt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, wish, I right. wish my uncle gave me an investment <laughs> lesson. God. You gotta go through bankruptcy court now. You're actually broke. <laughs> yeah. You gotta wait seven I, years I, there, to be able to have- There has to be again. a, there has to be a Roblox bankruptcy, man. <laughs> they probably, like, no, you have to go into the court and some yeah, 10 year old's like, what is your case? There's money tycoon. Yeah, God. Some of my favorite real world videos I did with like uh, with him, like he's an audience favorite, yeah. my nephew. Damn. Um, God, like maybe I, I'll get back to that. Like, just take him on adventures and like, yeah, yeah. Because I, I, this game, this game off topic now, but like, <laughs> kind of like the the one scene, that, the one and only scene that stands out to me the most in fucking Yu Gi Oh. Do you yeah. Remember like the, the original Yu Gi Oh anime? Yeah. Um, there's a scene where this is how I basically learned about stocks. Basically, uh, it's uh, it's. <laughs> I know the scene you're talking. Yeah, about. Do you know what I'm talking about? I'm it's, glad we're talking about anime though. I've I've got opinions, but we'll okay, 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 we'll, okay, we'll get into anime. It's uh, so it's like. Seto Kaiba's like backstory, yeah. I think. And he has like an adopted dad who is like, I will adopt you, but I'm going to give you $1 million. And uh, if you can turn this into $10 million, I will adopt you. And that- <laughs> Shit, game's a game, man. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and uh, basically Seto Kaiba explains basically like, uh, how stocks work in companies via like Yu-Gi-Oh cards being like, I, I have a hundred cards in front of me right now. What if I just buy 51% of this company represented by 51% uh, 51 Yu-Gi-Oh cards and I force Man. them to give them $10 million. That's how stocks work. And oh my God, that's dangerous. <laughs> what, what if we do that with Roblox? <laughs> just I watched Yu-Gi-Oh on Cheese TV as a kid or whatever, but right. I never remember none of that. <laughs> like I, I feel like as a kid, like I watched Yu Gi Oh, but I never in took anything that actually happened. Yeah. No, I, yeah. I, I, I don't know. Like, I mean, because also you did you play Yu Gi Oh as well as a kid? I had the cards, but it I, pissed I, me yeah. off at the TV show. None of the cards worked the fucking same as they no, did as the yeah. actual. No. Yeah, like the TV uh, show broke rules. All they, really? just, they just they would just change the cards, and it annoyed yeah, me. Because I really like playing it. Yeah, I was like, this is bullshit. <laughs> Kuribo fucking sucks. Why? Why does he keep using him? <laughs> My favorite thing about like. And I think it was the same with like Pokemon cards and shit. Is you just like anyone who had a color printer was just printing off like these Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Wait, they did and that. And they're real. I Joey said that. the it's I did that. But my <laughs> my parents you get would, in my school if you did that. My yeah. parents like refused to buy me Yu-Gi-Oh cards. There was times where we had like some money as a kid, and then times where we didn't. And the time where Yu-Gi-Oh cards were around, we had like nothing. So like my mom's like, yeah, you can't have any. So I had to lie to kids. Like, oh yeah, I got Grandpa's deck at home. Or so I'm, <laughs> I'm not allowed to bring it in. That's into, literally like, the Yu-Gi-Oh plot. I've got yeah, Grandpa's deck. There's yeah. like. 
like, where's your cards, bro? What are you doing? Same as Beyblades. I didn't have a Beyblade for like fucking. Oh, no, my, my, like, cause my dad worked at a printing company. So like <sighs> we had like the best printer. Oh, oh, so I forced my dad to print out all the Exodia cards. Yes, and, like, the Exodias, condition, bro. Bring that Fuck. to school and they'd be like, whoa, he's got all the Exodias, my, bro. Being nine was such a great time. One, one time my friends had cards I really, really wanted. And I was like, fuck, okay, I'll trade. What do you want for it? And he, he gave a list of cards he wanted for all, I think it was the elemental heroes or something. Yeah. Back yeah. when that was the cards. And uh, so we, so I, I met up with him. I gave him the cards. He gave me the cards and I'm looking at him and the top one's fine. It's legit. And as I'm like moving these cards around, all the names are just in Chinese, <laughs> but not, 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 not Chinese Chinese. They're in like, in, like Roma, Roma, uh, Ro, like uh, Roman alphabet Chinese. So it's like, it's, it's, what? it's like, it's Chinese spelt out phonetically in English. That's and, I was, and I was like, that's pretty funny. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what is this? That's a rare card. Right? And I was like, what, what What the hell? I can't read this shit. What, did you, what cards did you give me? And they were like kind of discolored as well. Uh, like, you fucked me. Give me my cards back right now. And I, I got my mum to fucking scream at like her mum <laughs> to give me the cards back. Cause she fucking scammed me. I was like, like what I the fuck? My dad will beat up your dad. Yeah, yeah. I summon Bing Chilling Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Did you so, go through a Pokemon card phase or anything like that? Uh, I Yeah, I definitely have Pokemon cards. Uh, I never like played the card games themselves though. Oh, I don't think anyone the, yeah, does. You're, yeah, everyone, yeah, I think everyone like, yeah, not, yeah, just, since, not since I've been an adult though. Like I know Lockie is like, loves his Pokemon cards, but. Oh, and you, all of YouTube got obsessed. Oh with, yeah, mm, massively, massively. Gambling for Pokemon cards. It was nah. like the most sanitized form of gambling ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It, yeah. I mean, it was some good investments for some people. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, nah, I never like got super into like as an adult. Like I don't, yeah. I have not, maybe I had some sick cards as a kid, but- Too busy on RuneScape. I think. Uh, too, yeah. too busy on RuneScape. The man. real things that matter. Yeah. But I, I wish like I've thought about going, cause I, the reason I was bringing up the whole anime thing. Right, right, is right. Because, right. Is because I watched my first anime recently properly. Oh, I watched oh, Dragon Ball shit. Z, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, as a kid yeah, on right, Cheese right. TV on the morning cartoons, you know? Yeah. But I never actually like watched them because okay. I was an idiot okay. and I was a moron. But I watched my first anime and I was very proud of myself. Uh, Alex behind the camera has been trying to convince me for a very long time. Watch Attack on Titan. Fuck nice. Because yeah. it's in Fortnite. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Captain Captain Le Levi is the goat. Uh, the goat. He's, he's the goat. Yeah. Um, and I was just like, yeah, I just wanted to share that. I watched my first anime, so thank Fuck you. Hell yeah. Thank uh, you. Uh, you how'd you feel? Ah, no, it was sick. Um, I think even still, because I watched uh, I watched the subtitle version. That's what I was told was the most authentic Smart. way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, like weirded my girlfriend out a little bit because there's a lot of grunting and stuff. Like, <laughs> like ah, yeah, ah, like the like this, they delay. It's just all anime. Yeah, it's and it's all just all like nani. Like this, I, I thought that was a meme, bro, but it's, it's actually a word. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> it's my ignorance. Uh, it's ignorant, it right? Means, but it means what? It's almost. Yeah. I, I, I figured that out. Yeah. Really, yeah. I, 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 I slowly figured out that when they were saying nani, like what was showing up. Um, but that was cool. That was a cool <laughs> thing for me to skip. I thought it was just a meme. What from um, like the oh my one more Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah the, it was just like everyone would edit into their videos like nani. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't but, yell, my God. But it's just like, there's so much, like even in Attack on Titan, not so much the later seasons, but there's still so much wasted time, I think in anime. Okay. And, I think, yeah. and so there is an old TV. You've got Fortnite brain, I think. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, no, I'm, on, I'm TikTok. <laughs> it's I, need a, TikTok I need the brain, subway man. circuit. How, how, is, how is time wasted in it? Explain. They just spend a lot of time just like repeating the same shit or like just talking about stuff that I just don't think matters, but maybe it's good for like world building or some shit, but I'm like, get are to you, the- are you, are you caught up on the second time? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, oh, have, wow. I don't read it though. Was it, Alex yeah. knows what happened. Yeah, was it? Was it? Con was a lot of it confusing as well? Because Attack on Titan is a weird story. No, nah, I was, I got it from start. All right, okay. No, nah, no, nah, nah, I mean, it was, it was obviously just like keeps throwing shit at you. Yeah. yeah. It's like all of a sudden, everything you thought was real, fucking wrong. Everything <laughs> thought was real, wrong. It just like keeps changing the game on you, which I thought yeah. was really cool. Yeah. Like it just kept changing the scope. It was getting bigger, 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 bigger. Yeah. Um, well, I think Attack on Titan is probably like, in my opinion, arguably the best starter anime. Oh that yeah. No. I, I think Death Death from what I've heard, it no, was a great no. one when we started. Death Attack on Titan is way Death better than Death Note in terms, terms of like- Well, I was, that was the thing I was gonna ask is like- What should you watch? What's, what's next? I've been told Demon Slayer. But um, yeah, I'm ha okay. I want to honestly like get a top five of what I should do next. In terms of starter anime, Chainsaw Man. I yeah, Chainsaw actually, Man. actually, be before before we get into this, what kind of like TV shows do you like or movies? Oh, I'm, I'm a very broad spectrum uh, right. person in that regard. I don't think I have any. The only thing I don't like is horror. Um, mm, okay, I'm a too. massive coward. Scariest oh. movie I ever watched was Scary Movie One. 
<laughs> you know that's a comedy, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why it's fucking bad. Um, I was like six or seven when I first watched it. And I thought the scream mask was from that originally. I oh. thought that too. Oh, yeah, I was, oh yeah. okay. And like that scene was like a dick that goes through someone's ear or some shit. I oh know. yeah. Yeah, no, it's terrifying. Okay, that, that was terrifying. Me yeah. Oh yeah, um, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I don't like horror. Uh, otherwise, pretty open to anything. I well, luckily, say. anime isn't that great no, at the no, horror. No, genre actually, horror. I mean, horror Attack on Titan gets pretty fucking wild. That's yeah, that's yeah. probably like probably more the, gory than horror. Yeah, yeah that's a bit more violent, gory than horror. But yeah, anime generally doesn't do horror well. So mm. that's that's a good thing for you. It, it does it by accident well. Sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, There's a lot of actually, things that are horrific, yeah. but not. Hey, like actually, horror. there there are some like pretty like scary scenes in Attack on Titan. Like, oh yeah. Unintentionally. Yeah. God, I, I just remember like remembering the first scene, remembering seeing that first Titan. Oh yeah. The, like, can, can we? I mean, I don't know. You let to like talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk yeah. about yeah. it. Well, yeah. this yeah. when his yeah. fucking yeah. mum gets eaten. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Horrifying. Yeah. <laughs> I had no context what this show was about. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's just like, watch Attack on Titan. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, okay, anime can't be that metal, right? It can't yeah. be that hardcore. It is, yeah. I thought yeah. maybe you'd see like sword fighting, like gory in that sense. Yeah. This man, like you're witnessing childhood trauma, <laughs> like actual yeah. real yeah. trauma. Yeah. You can s credit to the people that animated the stuff. Cause like you see like lifelong damage being imprinted in this kid <laughs> as his mother is slowly, dramatically chomped in half. <laughs> and then it turns out it's his fucking stepmom that did it or whatever it was. Yeah, like, yeah. It's like his father's previous wife or some shit. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh my God. Yeah, I just, I remember the first time seeing like, cause Attack on Titan fucking blew up when it uh, first aired from episode one. And just seeing that first like smiling Titan, like yeah, the one that eats Eren's mom, yeah. that was like nightmare fuel, yeah, you know? Yeah. Especially if you see as a kid. Also, the like the muscles on the butt cheeks of the colossal titan. <laughs> that was traumatizing, man. You saw squats, every man. fiber like in that Dave, gluteus like maximus. Some squats, bro. Yeah, hundred percent. <laughs> Is it traumatizing? <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe it was a different kind of I, feeling. I, I think you'd like Death Note. I think Death Note you'd like a lot. All right, that's all a right. classic. Oh, that's yeah. Yeah. Everyone knows Death. Note. Alex, track these for me, please. Yeah. Yeah. Remind yeah. me later. Death Note. I feel Death Note is like not. I wouldn't say it's like the best uh, gateway anime because uh, unlike Attack on Time, that's like, especially season one where it's like very easy to understand, very easy yeah. to get into because there's a lot of like high intense action that anyone can get into. Death Note's really easy that. to understand. Man. Well, Death Note is a lot that's more just like- That's right in there and like yeah, someone's gonna die, is, right? yeah. It's a lot more like mental and like psychological battles that's, rather that's than like actual physical fights, which I think is like, you know- No, I think I think, I think think Death Note is great. Like the only, the, the most physical they get in Death Note is when Ellen Light play tennis. Yeah. Like, um, I, I still think it's a good start to anime. Death okay, Note. it is, but it's a different flavor. Yeah, right. Like it's, I feel it's a different side of anime that okay. you know it very much exists and it's still great. What, what, but what like, are your it's not like Attack on Titan? Off the top of your head, what are some of your favorite movies? Oh, Monty Python, Holy Grail, good choice. <laughs> uh, Classic. Uh, free guy, because I'm in it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, see, I consume so much stuff, but like, fuck if I everywhere, everything all at once, banger. That was oh, a great that's movie. such a banger. Good movie. Oh, um, I had no idea what that movie was before I saw it. Like, yeah. we went to like some early screening thing for it. Blew me away. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I have like any sort of genre or any type of thing that like I'm very like average ass human being in that regard. Okay. Where I just right. you'd love Death Note. Full okay, Alchemist Brotherhood. It's pretty good. Because it's very I, anime. I think the first yeah the first anime I heard of that like I knew people were watching years ago was Full Metal Alchemist. I think. That's yeah. like I think it's been rated by anime fans like the best anime. Of all okay, time. Yeah. Just, I'm yeah. not like watching to... something that's got more than like a hundred episodes or so. Like it, so if it's got, like one of those like same. Naruto, no, is it One Piece has got like a thousand? Episodes. Yeah, One Piece yeah. got a thousand. That. Episodes. Not doing that. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's well, that's I a think, big commitment. What, Full Metal Alchemist Brothers seventy. Seventy. That's doable. That's doable. That's fun. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say Chainsaw Man would be Chainsaw pretty good if you liked Walsh. Attack on Time because okay. that's only 12 episodes. Yeah, that's very so well. Only 12. Kind of, yeah, because it's very, it's very new, yeah. Horny? Yeah, it's very horny. A lot of anime Fuck is now. very horny. There's already so much grunting. How much more horny can <laughs> you get? Oh, you, you haven't oh. seen the half of it. <laughs> right, I'm, I'm gonna be real. Like my girlfriend thought I was watching something. Like, <laughs> she was like walking <laughs> in like, what is happening? You're in the living room, bro. The windows are open. There was an anime that was like uh, a guy who just reviewed brothels in another universe. That was like an anime. Oh, what's that yeah. one called? Oh, it's uh, just like a called Interspecies Reviewers. Yeah, uh, yeah don't uh, 
Watch don't that watch one that with one? your girlfriend in the. Uh, I was gonna say, uh, okay, what point does it go from anime, eh, anime to hentai? Well, that that's, 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 that's the line. That is the line. That, that line question. has been blurred every single because there's got to yeah. be some like R eighteen animes that like maybe show titties or something. Yeah, I love oh yeah. yeah, I mean the one where they review brothels. There's literally just a sex scene. Okay, in it where one of them sleep with one of the girls in the brothel. Yeah, and, right. and it's just it's all there. It's fully okay. present. Yeah. Uh, and then it goes on for like five minutes or something. So we don't actually know what the line between hentai- <laughs> That's like an interesting thought. I feel yeah, they're yeah. like I've constantly pushing now, but... that line further and further further oh, yeah. to okay. the point where it's like, oh, it's, I don't even know what it is anymore. Is yeah, there's just, there's is a lot of fuck. tentacle or no tentacle? Is that the line for- well, see, because like there's That's a lot. A, I don't a, know anything. I'm ignorant okay, that. Is that okay, just so a like, meme? I have a no lot idea. Of, no, no, because there's, there's a lot, lot of anime tentacles. and a lot of hentai that uses tentacles, but like it's the difference between like how it is, I guess, utilized. Okay. <laughs> right, because yeah. it's like there's a lot of like very innocent scenes that use tentacles, but like okay. it's the implication of it might be construed as something yeah. sexual, but it's not adherently sexual. Because that's, that's my ignorance to unfortunately this like whole sort of like I guess community is like I've never really partook so i only see yeah. the memes yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. um i mean it definitely I've, exists there's a lot of it i've yeah. got i've got i've got some stuff to watch now you should watch jojo's bizarre adventure as well you've heard of that one no oh you'd probably like that you'd like JoJo. i'm so i'm it's like a whole world that i've just i it was always one of those things i never wanted to give up to my friends that like they always <laughs> asked me to watch anime i was like this is one of those things where i'm putting a line in the sand <laughs> Just because, like, fuck you, you're asking too much. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not and no it's, just like, it's like a personality trait. Ah, I don't watch anime. <laughs> you're like him. You're like him. <laughs> Have you yeah, watched I, Arcane? I don't know what that is. Uh, this is don't know what the you. fuck that is. Thank what you. is it? Arcane, it was the League of Legends. Oh, animated. fucking League of Legends. God. <laughs> you don't like League of Legends? Thank I never you. played League of Legends. No, I, I played one game of Dota and I was like, this shit's stupid. Well, yeah, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> but what's the difference? They're mobas. That's big, big difference. Big difference. Yeah, no, but I'm, I'm still, I'm very much in the same like field as you, Lana, where it's like if people around me are continuously like shoving it down my throat, being like, watch it, watch mm. it, watch it, it just makes me not want to watch it. Yeah, 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 no, definitely. I hate it. But I look after watching Attack on Titan. Like I got, I watched that in like the space of like four or five days or something. Oh, hell yeah. So I just went You're through hooked. it all. Um, that was a lot of episodes. That's like attack four, like four seasons doing, of Attack on Titan. I was Titan. grinding, bro. <laughs> I was grinding. <laughs> it was definitely within a week, man. Death I was Note, like, I guarantee you. You're yeah, I, I, I actually do recommend it. Death Note. You for, won't, like you won't go to I'm bed. excited. For I'm like excited. a starter anime, Chainsaw Man. Chains, if Chainsaw Man's only 12 episodes, that's an easy one. Oh yeah, you'll like, fly by that. I, yeah. think, I think the reason why Death Note's such a good starter anime is because right out of the gate, it's just fucking intense. No, yeah. like you get hooked yeah, within the first two episodes. That's important. I don't like shit. It takes me like a whole season or something. Yeah, that's that's kind of like, yeah, that'll, that'll fix the fucking TikTok. So you might have mentioned it in there, but what's your favorite anime? So is this like a debatable topic that Fuck. like get, gets heated here? Or like just Not like really, just because we watch so many that like my favorite anime changes all the fucking time. That's fair, I like yeah. that mentality. Though. You know, it's, it's kind of like, well, asking what your favorite game is. And I'm like, well, I have- You can say some of your favorites. That's yeah. fair, that's fair. Some or is it in that watch list already? Yeah, I can't- It was the brothel one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's no job, man. Hey, man. Safe place here, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they can edit it's it out, don't worry. No, I mean- <laughs> I'd say like the one that I usually say to anyone who asks that question is probably like Fully Cooly. Cause that's like, that's also a good show I think to watch it's as well because show. it's like, it's, Hipster. it's yeah. wild as hell and it's only six episodes and okay. it is just intense from start to finish, but something completely unique as well. I like that. I yeah. like that. So, I feel like that was the one thing, even just Attack on Titan, it felt like a story that they aren't going to tell in some other sort of medium. Yeah. <laughs> like, even yeah. just like, like they just, you can't make that. Yeah. I, mean, I think they did try to make a live action attack. Oh on yeah, yeah, it was yeah. Dog shit. I heard. I, I saw someone's like a it's clip of on TikTok. Someone saying this is the worst thing it's ever. Horrible. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. I love Hunter Hunter. Hunter Hunter's yeah. great. Um, I got, ping pong I, I, animation's great. I got, I got I got a pitch. I don't recommend you watch this immediately. Okay, okay. But maybe, maybe. Okay, I mean, I'm, ex I'm no, excited now. don't say it. <laughs> oh, this has got me more excited. What's going on here? So fate. No. Fate. No. fate. <laughs> don't. Uh, so I got my Crunchyroll so, subscription. I can watch all yeah, this stuff. Yeah, specifically here. Fate Zero. Okay. Um, so, it's a battle royale, so. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It, I'm tell, that guy. Tell me, it is not a battle, battle royale. royale. 100 percent a battle royale. It is. I'm the guy it is from the battle royale. It is. It is. It is, like it. it is a battle royale anime where uh, a bunch of wizards and mages they summon like a legendary hero from history to fight for them. That's sick. So <laughs> I love that. Like got like Genghis Khan or like yeah yeah, yeah yeah yeah. So you know you the people summon like King Arthur. That's fucking mad. Um, well, King Arthur's an anime waifu in this. One. Yeah, anime waifu. <laughs> yeah. King Arthur is a girl. Yeah, yeah. King Arthur, Alexander the Great. 
Uh, that's, I mean, like, that's the first book I ever read was about Alexander the Great. So yeah, they're yeah, all yeah. So, each other. so a bunch of like legendary heroes from history and they just fucking battle it out. And it's yeah. a mix between like action and just mind games as well. Mm. Uh, because everyone's like playing chess with each other, trying to like, you know, trying to knock each other out. Without... It just sounds so much better than it is. Yeah. <laughs> no, okay. Nah, to that be fair. That sounds fucking no, awesome. To be fair, that Fate Zero sick. is fucking fantastic. It is a good show. Yeah, 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 but yeah, the reason show. why I was screaming no is because the problem is, is that after you watch Fate Zero, there's a whole other bunch of series and spin-offs, and it becomes one of the most complicated it's fictional com universes. Oh, okay. Let's not say it. Let's just leave it there. So can, you just, <laughs> can you watch Fate Zero and just leave it at that? You can, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you you can. Can. But would you I can. want to after That's the problem. That's okay. If you get too into it, then you'll be like, well, what else is Fate, there? Fate, okay. Fate Stay Night, it's pretty good. Yeah, I'd say, well, yeah. yeah. I'd say like, if you watch, if you just watch Fate Zero and Unlimited Blade Works, that's, you can probably understand like 90% of yeah, the Yeah, Unlimited Blade Works is good. Yeah. But like, if you want to feel the remaining world. 10%, then mm. you have to watch like all these other like spin off shows and sequels and prequels, and yeah. it gets way too There's a lot of really dark shows as well. You might, I don't know, do you like more serious shows? Um, emotional? probably not yeah. really. Okay. Uh, I don't okay. like to feel things. I like to go main, uh, <laughs> like, okay. I like to go brain dead and just be like, damn, that's fucking sick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it is unreal. That stuff is actually so true though. Like, I will watch something so much more if there's a guy jumping through a Minecraft maze. Like, I'll actually. <laughs> The fact that like podcast clips are so boring now that like, you have to have a fucking subway surfer thing at the bottom, just otherwise I can't watch it. Yeah, it's kind of weird. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's 15 <laughs> seconds of my life, but I need something else to entertain me at the same time. Yeah, when did that become like a meta for like TikToks? Uh, and, I don't and know, TikToks? but I did, Um, it was weird. I did a video and someone re-uploaded the entire thing to TikTok, which I don't care about, fuck it. Yeah, Free yeah. views. But they put Rocket League highlights below it and it got 20 million views on TikTok. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> More than it got on YouTube. With just Rocket League clips below it. That's so like, weird. That's a fucking scam. I, I, I saw I saw this uh, I saw this one like YouTube short, and it was just like a random podcast clip or something that I, I didn't really give a shit about. Uh, but what was so distracting uh, was there was this like mobile game being played at the bottom where you had to like collect coins or something. Oh, yeah. Subway, Subway Surfer, Surfer. yeah. Uh, was it Subway Surfer? Yeah. It was like the shittest player of all time. He kept missing every <laughs> fucking, fucking gem, and I was like, there "That's is, how he got you engaged." That's and I was like fucking yeah, again, and I yeah. went to like the comments, and everyone was just like, "I cannot stop! I, like, <laughs> like I cannot not notice how shit this person is at the game." Dude, that yeah. worked. He turned a boring ass video into a That's banger. <laughs> That's fucked. Where up. does we it end? Like, where does it end though? Like, where does that stop? How many layers are they going to get to? Before? It's just going to be like, ah! like everything, with, like <laughs> fucking screaming at you, like bells screen. going off yeah. the whole yeah. time. Yeah. I don't, it's it's so weird because whenever I, whenever I see like that video where it's just like a podcast or a clip by itself just isn't enough anymore. We need nah. something to like distract yeah. the brain. Well, yeah, it's like how they had had to add flashy subtitles yep. to everything, which slowly became Japanese TV. Yeah. What do you mean flashy subtitles? You mean well, like- Well, before when you had clips of podcasts, they wouldn't fucking subtitle every goddamn word they say. Yeah. But oh. now it's like every single- Every word, word is just flashed on the they screen. They change colors oh, for speaking. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, there's yeah. like little icons that pop up. There's like constantly- That's literally swiveling. what we do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. we, we do that for trash all taste. secrets on how to get views right here. <laughs> I yeah. feel like at this point we're just kind of like hacking the brain. Or well, something. yeah, because like, it like there is a standard for subtitles already built. Yeah, it's actually like the most easy to read and legible. Yeah, yeah, and obviously. YouTube just throws it out the window because you're like, well, that's not fucking fast enough. No, I don't no, no, fucking no, no. read it. Do one word at a time, pop up, blue, animation, go. I find it interesting because I know Mr. Beast uses different subtitles for TikTok as he does on YouTube. Oh. It's like different energies on different platforms. Like huh. TikTok kind of rejects the hyper-produced hyper like way that YouTube shorts work. Yeah. They're very much like condensed original YouTube video. I say original, yeah. um, but like actual trying to tell some story or whatever. Yeah. And it's a little bit more manufactured. It's a little bit more yeah. of like a set narrative set thing, whereas TikTok is meant to be more organic. It's people duetting each other. It's people talking to a camera. You don't really see that as much on YouTube shorts, but mm. yeah. to literally to the level of like psychologically changing the text just so it comes off with a diff, <laughs> like trying less hard. It's weird. Yeah. That's like fucking nuts. Cause and it, it it obviously makes a big difference. Otherwise, you wouldn't do it. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. This is this is the new age. Oh, analyze this TikTok video. Why is the subtitle this <laughs> color? But genuinely, <laughs> it's crazy. Well, yeah, we're getting to that point where everyone is making micro adjustments to try and find the perfect thing to hack your brain. Yeah, at that yeah. Time. yeah. Especially on YouTube Shorts, because everyone's making the same video. Yeah. Like everyone's just doing the same. Like just Garbage. screaming at you. A lot of it's fake. A lot of it's just complete 
just garbage, but it just hooks you. Even if you, I, I watch a YouTube short all the way through. I'm like, I hated that. Why did I watch yeah. it? <laughs> that was <laughs> awful, but I gave him watch time. <laughs> Do you also get recommended like YouTube shorts that have like no views? And there's just like a kid. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. like this is my wall. <laughs> it's like zero You say that on TikTok yeah. all the time. I'm yeah, like, what sure. the fuck? Is, why are you recommending this shit to me? I it's, guess they got to give everyone a chance, right? Yeah, it's weird because I feel like it's, that's the algorithm trying to do something. But like normally you can tell within, I feel like with like YouTube why shorts. Am I the when, test dummy? Sorry? <laughs> why am I the fucking test dummy for people? I, I know. I, I, feel like, I, no. I feel like everyone's the yeah. test dummy. I mean, a video has to have zero views at one point, right? That's true. But uh, yeah, I, 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 I feel like you can tell when a video is not like I, I i can like subconsciously tell within like i say like 0. 0.5 seconds oh yeah when, yeah, yeah. when yeah. like a video is being recommended to me that has no views at all oh yeah yeah oh, yeah. yeah you can just tell it's just the TikTok algorithm just kind of being like, I know you liked all these videos, but what about this? It's a man yeah. left field. Yeah, it's have, like have, something completely different. Have you been recommended a lot of like, just out of context, like scenes from movies and yeah, TV shows? Yeah, like, yeah, Just like fucking watch them. Yeah. Like yeah. every Family Guy episode, every South Park episode, it's on TikTok. I think I've rewatched the entire John Wick trilogy through clips out of order. <laughs> <laughs> That's the same thing. You rewatch the same things. So I love yeah, it. Yeah. The amount of times I've watched the same podcast clips of like Theo Von just saying something stupid, just because like they will just send me the same one every time. <laughs> yeah, I think I've seen. I've never seen Peaky Blinders, but I feel like I could recite basically yeah. every major yeah. thing that's happened. Yeah, I feel like I could perfectly replicate a Joe Rogan episode 100%. just based off weird fucking clips with his guests, where they go like, "In the Amazon forest, there is a tribe." The, the pyramids. Actually, yeah. <laughs> it's it's the, the spiritual energy of the river. It actually makes them giga chads. And it's just like, what am I, what uh, am I listening to? Have you seen the, 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 the deep fake slash AI of Joe Rogan clips where they are fully talking and the guest is fully talking yeah. and their mouths are fully moving. Yeah. It sounds identical to them, but they're advertising some product. Yeah, oh, it's yeah, completely yeah. fucking fake. Oh, they're the, 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 when they were trying to scam people to buy stuff? Yeah, yeah, Well, it's yeah. just, yeah, it's fully fake. Yeah. They just like try and, tri oh, it's crazy. I've they act like that. they're advertising this like, could be like anything, like a body like supplement or usually something. Yeah. supplements, yeah. but yeah. and obviously they do usually advertise like supplements or some sort of thing, but like completely fake ones. Yeah, it's kind completely of scary. Fake ads. Yeah, I, I watched Joe Rogan explaining Bionicle, and that was good. But I, the, knowing that it could be used for, <laughs> knowing that it could be used for nefarious reasons. <laughs> do they even not sell so Bionicles anymore? No, no, it was like him explaining well, Bionicles things. to Jordan Peterson or something, <laughs> and it was really funny because I just thought that they were going at deep in depth into Bionicle law, and I just yeah. for some reason I found that funny. <laughs> I, I guess they're like. These podcasts are long, right? Like so fucking. Yeah. I mean, they've got to go down some fucking rabbit holes. Of course, yeah. Oh, look, I, I think I when I used to mow lawns, uh, my first job out of school, I would listen to podcasts all the time. I definitely, I think I listened to. Surely, at some point, I listened to a Joe Rogan one, but yeah, like a decade yeah. ago. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like I, I feel like his clips are inescapable, especially. I don't know why it's specifically his clips. Whenever there's some kind well, of fucking he just gets outrageous guests. No, it's it's when it's like it's always some kind of fucking conspiracy going oh. on. Like oh, the yeah, pyramids, yeah. man. <laughs> like here. there's no I'm tools Italian. that they could have had that oh, could have the built one, them, right? man. Yeah. The one, and did you know that. if you measure the base of <laughs> the thickness of the pyramids, it's the actual circumference of the Earth. <laughs> <laughs> To within like micro percent degree. Uh, my favorite one is is always like so. There's always been writings about the ancient city of Atlantis that uh, oh was my. lost oh, through yeah. time, and uh, every 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 civilization talked about this, and it disappeared all at the same time. Even though there's no no kind of like evidence or whatever. I'm yeah. Like how many how many conspiracy theories can we go through? That Which one's one interesting. Were you really smoking on that? The Atlantis yeah. one's interesting. Because <laughs> yeah. You've been like, Atlantis pill. Well, it's like the, <laughs> the Sahara in Africa. No. Or something. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Okay, 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 okay. Where's there's, the there's, okay. There's, uh, there's large like like chunks of desert that used to be lush yeah, forests. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, lots of tropical water, all that mm -hmm. sort of stuff. It's just all slowly been eroded and buried by the Where'd sand. Where'd all the water go? You'd never be able to. You'd never. Evaporation, bro. Where'd all the water go? That's like was in heaps of other places. <laughs> like there used to be like Australia was underwater or no, something. Kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But no, it's, I don't know. I'm just saying. It was like it's, I don't like. I, have they checked all the sand? I don't know. <laughs> have they gone through with a metal detector and seen yeah. if they found Atlantis? I don't know, man. Do you know my favorite conspiracy theory? Australia isn't real. No, oh, yes, we, we were discussing this. <laughs> yeah. I got I got an internet fights with uh, the kid that kept saying that. He's so funny. Wait, so wait, wait, what, what do you say? No, he just like he just says that when you fly to Australia, you're actually getting drugged and dropped off in New Zealand. <laughs> 
And it's just funny when you actually are in. I mean, we might not actually be in Australia. Yeah, right? yeah. Australia. Yeah. I actually had to think about it for a second. Like, are we in Australia? <laughs> we are in Australia. Yeah. I was like, I'm not some overseas right I, now. I love how I love how there's the narrative of like, oh yeah, this giant island continent is not real. Not but real. New Zealand yeah. is definitely real. Yeah. We're all actors. Yeah. yeah. Um, so so did you make a video like calling him out? Well, these are back in my reaction days. This was like six years ago. Right. Are oh, you yeah, reacting to him? Saying we had that. a little beef. Yeah. No, he just because he was just chatting so much dumb shit. I was just going through all these videos. He was just trying to bait for attention he was course, just making yeah. all these videos just waffling on about all sorts of random shit <laughs> i think he still does to this day and honestly hopefully he's doing all right um but <laughs> you see people every now and then just pick back up on it like i think yeah there's been a few channels that have made full dedicated videos to him even in recent times because he just pops up on tiktok and just yeah chatting some shit. <laughs> just, if, anyone, if anyone just talks a lot of shit you'll eventually get noticed say something yeah. controversial have an extreme opinion yeah. and share it with as many people as possible that's how you make money that's true that's was, was true. he yeah. memeing or was he like i it, he's got he'd have to be yeah, i think yeah. he, he's just very dedicated but, it's, but it is impressive know, to see like, someone commit to a character that hard yeah. yeah it's it's like i don't know i i would think out of context that flat earthers are a meme but obviously they're a, like a real thing right <laughs> yeah or I are think, they, <laughs> or are they? <laughs> that's a conspiracy <laughs> that's, that is a whole thing yeah. um yeah no i i hope he was memeing yeah it's no, uh, I really I, sometimes you don't know it's like is this guy a character or is he actually just crazy i can never tell with the internet anymore <laughs> well even with some of the flat earthers there's like some intelligent flat earth that's the thing right and that's like, the they thing they like proved they kept accidentally proving that it, the earth was round <laughs> yeah. but that's they like were like intelligent thing. enough to be able to set up all these experiments to prove that the earth was was round yeah, yeah. It's funny it's yeah that's i have no smart idea smart people can be dumb yeah, yes man. definitely yeah very much so that's why we watch anime yeah yeah <laughs> I, yeah did we ever <laughs> did we ever recommend uh another what the starter anime were? I feel like we got on. I mean, I, got, I definitely want, got a list. Fights? Do you want da you want superpowers? Do you want fights? I love want... a good like. Someone described uh, Attack on Titan to me. I think they were saying like Game of Thrones in a way, in the sense of like everyone. Everyone says that. Everyone says yeah. that. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, because I guess I like the scope why. of things. I'm not really sure like the actual correlation, but I guess maybe it's the very scope. Political. It's very political. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. Oh yeah, I happen. suppose that part. Yeah, that's actually very true. So I love like a good story in that regard. Okay, a good I story. I love good right. world building. Okay. okay. I love that shit. What about like a uh, Trigon Stampede? You reckon that'd be a good uh, starter or? Probably not starter anime. Um, I'd say Hunter Hunter, but it is 140 episodes. But it is good. That's, yeah. I look, but it could be a slow burn I slowly get through, but. It is good. If, if you some, want something that hits fast and it's just very, very easy to get through, uh, One Punch Man. Oh, One Punch oh, Man. Oh, yeah. That, that is so good. That is, okay, okay. It's basically about a superhero who trains so fucking hard where he can kill everything with one punch. I think I've played a Roblox game, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I've played, this, I've played this one. I think I actually have. So, okay, is it always that you should watch the subtitled version or should, is no. there sometimes that you no. think you should watch no. the Sometimes, you sometimes the dubs are actually better than the Japanese version. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Because yeah. I it's, feel it's, like it's a sacrilegious thing no. to say. Oh, no, yeah. no, no, no. That's it's like, there's some, maybe there, like 10 it's because there are, you know, a while back, there was a lot of subs, uh, sorry, a lot of English dub versions, which just weren't that great. Okay. Yeah. But there are a lot that are pretty decent. And I think we've gotten to this point now where no one fucking cares and just watch whatever works for you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, if, if, if you want to watch a show that has like, I think like a better, like is better experience in English. Uh, Barkano is yeah. uh, incredible. It's kind of like a Quentin Tarantino movie. Interesting. Uh, yeah. You might also like Vinland Saga. Cause I, I th there was something interesting about subtitles. I found I was actually had to pay way more attention to what I was watching. Yeah, you do. Instead oh, of just absolutely. like drifting oh, off God. your phone or something. God like, forbid. Yeah, you have to read. <laughs> no, it. Just the, the subway surf for bullshit at the bottom. It's the same thing as when you're sitting there watching a show and you're like, oh, I got Twitter alert. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't do that way. What like no, reading you subtitles? Have to, you have, you have to, to actually be home. You should in. prop up Subway Surfer under your TV. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I saw you know, a TikTok of someone who set up their whole house. So it was like two TVs above each other, just to obviously make fun of it. Like, uh, yeah, I saw someone doing like a presentation, and then they were like, "Wait, hold on!" And then it, then they held up Subway Surfer and, and carried like, oh, it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> oh, we're fucking doomed. We are. Doomed. <laughs> we're we are actually. Doomed. We need to do that with anime. Just have a full season of fucking Attack on Titan, except it's just cropped and just like the Subway bottom, Surfer. The Bottom, bottom half is just subway stuff. We are doomed as a people, bro. We, but yeah, certainly are. But we hopefully are. you have some new anime that you can watch as well. Yes. Yeah. Well, when the world's ending, you can always hit us anime. up. You'd be like, what's the next? What's the next? Oh, I will. Yeah. I will. I mean, it sounds like I'm going to have a little bit to get through. Yeah. Do you yeah. travel? Do you travel often? Last year, I definitely did. I uh, pretty much lived in England for like three months. I'm um, so sorry. Hey, I love it. I love it. <laughs> um, Why does every Aussie love England I wouldn't so want to maybe man? live there forever. But Yeah. Um, London's fun. 
yeah, no, London was really cool. Um, I'd never been to Europe or like oh, wow. anywhere with like really old buildings before, you know? <laughs> so you're like, whoa. Yeah, no, I was like, fuck, this is sick. I also just, yeah, I don't know. just very different energy. I kind of liked the cold as well. So it was I really cold, cold when I first yeah. went there. Mm. Um, yeah. like, I was doing content there, which was great. Um, yeah. Not for myself, but. <laughs> it's, it's nice to get to travel and do content, but also have like off days where you can kind of like get to do fun stuff. But oh, yeah. It feels, feels like you're in a place with a purpose. And I, I really mm. enjoy that. Especially because it was like, we got locked down here for like two years, couldn't travel. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah, yeah. I heard the lockdown not, here was like insane not to well. make it seem like it's the end of the world it's a good place to be but um you know when we could travel again it was, ah, it was I, rough, I, yeah. I, I did a lot of it i did a lot of it yeah yeah um would you yeah. ever think about coming to japan i've been there once really? you've been there once yes i've oh. been there once and i went straight to naseko and snowboarded for like five days and oh, oh that is just oh. Australian the thing you ever i know say. that's what i wanted to say like because i know uh obviously you guys have a lot of experience in japan and i'm yeah. like I've been there, but I have not experienced the culture. I think I landed in Tokyo, went to the airport hotel, and then went straight to like Niseko or something. Dude, like that. Nis Nis Niseko in the on season is just Australian. Yeah, it's just it was. <laughs> Everyone was just speaking like in an Aussie accent, in English to me. I'm like, Everyone is this is very helpful, but I'm not getting any cultural experience here. <laughs> well, when you come to Tokyo, hit us up. And we'll, we'll oh, up I would sure love to, man. Yeah. I know. Oh. Ev pretty much everyone I'm friends with right now is like, it's even separate friend groups is like, yeah. oh, we're thinking about Japan this year. Yeah. Thinking about Japan this year. I'm like, I'd love to. I mean, I'm, we're also down to going to Nisiko to fucking yeah, rip some yeah. snow as well. I definitely think I got to get back there. That was yeah. the best experience of my yeah, life. It's, it's funny. Gross, we, yeah. we had an episode where we talked about who we think the worst tourists are in the world. And Joey's like, Aussies when they go skiing. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. But I don't ski, I snowboard. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Yeah, we're, not, we're not like them. Yeah. <laughs> it's I promise different it's different. Thing, I promise it's different. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, well, yeah. Um, anything you want to shout out? Or? Uh, nothing too in particular. You can watch my YouTube videos, Code Lazy Laser. Beam. Code Laser. And if yeah. you're ever buying V Bucks <laughs> or Robux, <laughs> just saying, use that. You know, uh, in Japan, they sell V Bucks just in the convenience store. Oh, of course. Then tell this cashier this. I don't know what <laughs> that what is saying? in Japanese. Kodoreza. Well, that's it because I did. Sorry, off topic, but like, I did year eight Japanese and my Japanese teacher literally said, Speak English. Oh yeah, <laughs> which sounds fucking. Yeah, you, like, you have to because it's like yeah. you, they don't have L's. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, that, yeah. and that's once again I could be massively be like, ignorant. No, but no, like, no. You're right. You're right. Yeah. So yeah. I always feel bad when I'm like. So you'd say you, like, oh, I'm Reza Beam. Yeah, yeah, that's I'm like. <laughs> yeah. and, 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 but am I being racist? <laughs> no, 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 actually, no. That bad. It sounds racist. <laughs> I, that's what I'm trying to be. Yeah, if you if you ever go to the Japan, they'll like if you don't know a word, you say it. Like you say it in that accent, yeah. and you might think, "Oh shit, am I being racist?" But it makes it easier to understand. I'm trying not yeah, to like, be well, ignorant, you, but if like you go to like uh, McDonald's, right? It's like a big market. Oh my god! Yeah, it's oh, like, like, it's like oh, I want a milk tea. You're just a oh, milk tea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's it's, uh, it's I, like it sounds like a, a meme. But yeah. This is, a this is not a trap. Uh, <laughs> this is a trap. We're gonna call gas line. I'm gonna get bashed. Watching a Japanese person saying light and right is the funniest thing in the world. Really? Yeah. Because oh. they can't say it. Oh god. Yeah. Let's make fun of people's accents. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I found Aussies out a lot about you guys. Right. Right. Um, <laughs> thanks for coming on. Man. Nah. Uh, nah thanks yeah, so much for coming on. Thank you for giving us the time. Thanks, Trusting thanks anime me. weebs. Yeah, yeah. Now's a good time. Good time. Hey, look at all these patrons though. Ooh, Ooh look at so I, I bet they use code laser. Yeah, when they're so buying. all of them. Oh, they now will. <laughs> <laughs> After getting look to know me. Look how many there are. But uh, hey, if you'd like to support the show, go over to our Patreon, patreon.com slash trash taste. Also follow us on Twitter, send us some memes on the subreddit. And if you hate our face, listen to us on Spotify. And uh, yeah, thanks Landon for coming on. Thanks so much. Yeah. Awesome, thank you. Bye. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.